scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Ah, I live to praise that name <laughs> And I have no fear of what tomorrow Are you tired of prophesying? I live yeah. I live to the I live to the I live I live I live the last time I live I live I live say And begin to prophesy he has made me the head I remain the head forever I'm the redeemed of the Lord he has called me blessed I remain blessed forever go ahead and prophesy my path is as a shining light it shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day the hand of the Lord is upon me his favor encompasses me as a shield. A thousand falls by my side and ten thousand by my right side. None shall harm me with my eyes. Will I watch and see the reward of the wicked? Go ahead and prophesy. My path is as a shining light. Shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. But I know whom I have believed and I'm persuaded that he's able to keep that has committed against that day prophesy i'm the head i'm blessed i'm lifted the anointing is upon me in the name of jesus my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed with fresh oil gentiles come to my light kings through the brightness of my rising he's exalted me above thrones above dominions above principalities and every name that is named both in this age and in the world to come i refuse sickness i cannot be sick i refuse poverty it is far from me god has not given me the spirit of fear but the spirit of love of power and of a sound mind he has given me the tongue of the learned that i will know how to speak a word in due season my words are seasoned with song to minister grace to the hearers come on prophesy through wisdom my life is built by understanding it is established true knowledge is filled with every blessing i'm above satan i'm above the powers of darkness he has lifted me he has given me a name that is above every other name he calls me great he calls me blessed he calls me anointed. My gates are continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. My way pleases the Lord and he makes even my enemies to be at peace with me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on prophesy koinonia. The 
Bible says hold fast your profession of faith let the redeemed of the Lord say so let the healed of the Lord say so let the blessed of the Lord say so let the anointed of the Lord say so go ahead and prophesy it doesn't matter what is happening in your family God is faithful God is faithful I shall not die I have no covenant with death I choose life I choose life I do not live by the sword so I cannot die by the sword the name of the Lord is a strong tower I run into it and I am saved go ahead and prophesy wealth and riches are in my house the wisdom of God is at work in me the works of my hands are blessed I move from glory to glory to glory to glory the hand of God is upon me the favor of God is upon me the gift of the Lord that is deposited within me makes room for me and it ushers me into the realm of greatness pray and prophesy let the devil hear you the bible says as i hear you say before my ears so shall i do i'm blessed i'm blessed i'm blessed i'm lifted i have the mind of christ i don't think failure I don't think defeat in the name of Jesus. I'm an ambassador doing wonders for the kingdom. I lay hands on the sick and they are healed. I cast out devils. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me. To preach good news to the poor, to bind up the brokenhearted, to set the captives free, to announce the acceptable year of the Lord and the year of vengeance of our God, to give them beauty for ashes, joy for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of God. The Lord is my shepherd. I refuse to be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the quiet waters he restores my soul and guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup overflows surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life i dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever i am planted in the house of god and i flourish in the courts of god even in old age i shall be fat and flourishing hallelujah the gentiles come to my light kings to the brightness of my rising that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my body that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in my body it quickens my body no divination no enchantment against me can stand they shall gather but as surely as they gather they will scatter because the Lord is my portion the Lord is my inheritance I live to praise your name and I have no fear how could I of what tomorrow brings yeah, I live to praise your name and I have no fear I have no worry
I live to praise your name and I have no fear of what tomorrow brings hallelujah the best way to predict your future is to create it hallelujah so that you are not confused about what to expect and he told Job he said hast thou commanded thy morning hast thou commanded thy morning he said the heaven even the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord but the earth has he given to the sons of men the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord but Job has thou commanded thy morning have you instructed your future hallelujah I refuse to enter into a coincidental future no way now hallelujah you may not be able to do something about your past but let me tell you something it is absolutely within your power God gave you anointing not for showmanship he gave you the capacity to create the only thing that can enter your future is the Word of God nothing else can enter hallelujah you can send the word. The Bible says he sent forth his word. Hallelujah. He sent forth his word. Listen. Every time you speak. In faith. Believing. I want you to realize. That the word of God is creative in nature. Are you listening to me? To create means to make substance out of nothing. The word of God becomes that substance. It says, the word became flesh and dwelt among men. Every time the word of God materializes, it becomes something. The word can become anything. The word became flesh. It had substance. Listen, Jesus is the word. But you are the voice that will release that word. John said, I am the voice of one crying. Although I'm not the word, but I'm the one who gives breath. Hallelujah. That's the reason why the first characteristic of the spirit of depression is to bring you to a point of silence. Whenever the devil wants to destroy the life of a man, he brings you to a point where you cannot talk again. And at that point, you are hoping and wishing and trusting that things will change. But can I tell you something? It is not within, it's not just left for God to change things. You've got to use your mouth as a weapon of creation. Son of man, he said, can these bones live? He said, only thou knowest. He said, really, it's not within, if you want it to change, prophesy. He said, and I prophesied as, as I was commanded. There was a sound. You're going to prophesy one more time to your life. Many of us have left our future as a barren wilderness. You're just hoping one day that things will change. No. The fierceness of the world necessitates you rising up and beginning to practice the principles of the kingdom. I like the scripture that Bishop read. He said, they go from strength to strength. Hallelujah. As many that appear before him in Zion. Part of the things that happen in Mount Zion is that you go from strength to strength. Hallelujah. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Sing one more time. When I pray, thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Say after me, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Say it like you believe it. I am blessed. I'm blessed. I'm anointed. The Spirit of God is upon me. I'm a threat to the kingdom of darkness. 
I know the word. I understand the word. I believe the word. The word is working for me. God cannot lie. I believe his promises. I'm an ambassador doing wonders for the kingdom. I have no covenant with death. I have no covenant with sickness. I'm the blessed of the Lord. His hand is upon me. I'm the glory of the Lord. I'm the beauty of the Lord. I'm well favored. I'm like a well watered garden. The Gentiles come to my light. The kings to the brightness of my rising. I'm distinguished. I have the oil of gladness. I know what to do. There's no confusion in my life. The word of God is a lamp to my feet. It's a light to my path. Through wisdom, my life is built. By understanding, it is established. Through knowledge, my life is filled with blessings. Say one more time. Through wisdom, my life is built. I cannot be foolish. The wisdom of God is at work. I understand the principles of the kingdom. Say, I understand the principles of the kingdom. I know what to do. I know how to prosper. I know how to live in hell. I know how to be victorious. I know how to live long. I know how to command results. The hand of God is upon me. The word of God is making me wise. It's giving me an inheritance. I'm not an ordinary Christian. I'm supernatural. The anointing is at work in me. I have an unction from the Holy One. In the name of Jesus. Give God a shout of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. He says, I commend you to the word of his grace that is able to make you wise and then give you an inheritance listen listen if your life still remains in confusion then you do not understand the principles of the kingdom are you following me now the edge you have over carnal believers or unbelievers is the fact that you are not just walking in a system that you are hoping for things to happen by guesswork this is why we labor in the world day and night to see that you grasp an understanding. Everybody say understanding. The Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. It says in all thy getting, get understanding. Wisdom tells you what to do. Understanding tells you how to do it. Hallelujah. One of the greatest blessings of the word of God is that it takes away ignorance. The Bible says, hear me, for an heir, although he's an heir, but as long as he's a child, he differed not from a slave, though he be Lord of all. So although it is true that there are certain things that have been written concerning you, it takes understanding to walk into that experiential truth. This is what we seek to do. The word gives you understanding. There are a lot of people who just preach for effect. There are many people who preach just for swagger. But let me tell you something. If you are truly anointed, you will preach to create understanding. For as long as I do not know how to cook jollof rice, I, I will keep guessing. Is that true? Mix everything. When, but when somebody who knows what to do, the Bible says, follow them who through faith and patience have obtained the promise. The word of God is full of the compendium of people that came, they saw, and they conquered. They have left a testament of their exploits. So that we, by diligently following in partnership with the Holy Spirit, will do these things. And Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believes in me. In other words, he that believes in all these truths, the works that I do. He said, he shall also do. And greater works. That's what the Bible says. It says we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus that we should show forth that there be a manifestation of the things that we have been predestined to do. I told you this is a training ground. This is not a place where you just come and sleep or you come and laugh. No. 
this is a place where God gives you understanding. Say after me, understanding. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. When you have understanding, confusion ends in your life. When you have understanding, the same boisterous river called life, you will walk on it as if Satan does not exist. Hallelujah. We're going to pray one prayer and say, Lord, grant me understanding. Grant me understanding. Say it from your heart. Grant me understanding. These things that are still a mystery unto me. Open it up, oh God. The Bible says Jesus was going to the city called Emmaus with two men. And although he was the bread of life, they did not understand. But when he sat at table, he broke the bread and their eyes were open. Say, Lord, open my eyes. Open my eyes, oh God. When you know it, you have known it forever. When you know it, it will tell in your life. When you know it, there's no confusion about it. When you know it, see, he said they are life to those who find them. You can pretend to find it, but when you truly, 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 when you truly know it, it will show in your life. Say, Lord, teach me. Teach me. I'm willing to learn. Teach me. Open me up to the things of the Spirit. Open me to the things that command true power. The things that equip me to be an ambassador. You have told me I'm a sign and a wonder. Say, Lord, I don't want to keep seeing darkly. Open me up. The Bible says, if the light in your eye be darkness, how great is that darkness? But it is the entrance, not the reading, not the explanation, the entrance of the word that gives light. Pray, I receive understanding. I receive understanding. That will put me in charge. Put me in command. There is a generation waiting for my manifestation. Heaven is waiting for me. There are lives that are depending on my understanding the things of the kingdom. He reigns. He reigns. He is standing by my side To bring his word to pass He reigns He reigns Our God is an awesome He reigns, he reigns Sing it with faith in your heart he was standing by her side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. You will be changed tonight. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Please be seated. Greet one another. Hug one another. Tell them it's good to see you again. Bring out your notepads, your pen. Let's get to the business of the night. When you seek him early, you will find him. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us of a parable of ten virgins. Hallelujah. And then the Bible tells us that five were what? They were all virgins, meaning they were all of the fold of God, same fold. But five were wise. 
you know sometimes when i stand here i just feel i should just open my heart look let me tell you the things you are learning that some of you take for granted you will see people pay with their blood to receive it in the future this is when you will appreciate it you are not paying for it let me tell you something the bible says five there was a time all the ten had the opportunity to get extra oil is that true there was a time that they could have gotten as much oil this is the time right now but while five were paying they all had oil they all had oil is that true they were anointed they had knowledge but the remaining five said uh -uh, the fierceness of time will require that we hold extra oil and while the five held extra oil the remaining people the bible says although they were virgins they were foolish what was their foolishness refusal to pay attention when the those who sold this oil said remember the bible says it is wisdom that stands on the street and cries while men are passing wisdom is saying look pay attention to me we need a sunday school department who did cem please help that baby praise god are you listening to me and then all of them were gathered what they did not know listen was that the oil was being used and will require refilling and a time came when the lamp of the other five was dying and the bible says there was a sudden announcement this is exactly how life will present itself sudden announcement here comes the bridegroom everybody the bible says the five who were wise on the strength of their extra work they now said now we have enough for this occasion with the bridegroom and then the remaining five the remaining five who did not pay attention the bible says they were they came to beg the other five and say please can you give me small oil they say no when it comes to this one widow there are some things they cannot help you do listen let me tell you something brothers and sisters there are certain parts in life that nobody can help you cross no matter how they love you nobody can get born again for you is that true and the remaining five had to run out i told you this thing i'm giving you the scriptural basis that when you don't pay attention to some things no matter how far you go in life the the, the time they were supposed to run and go and buy they didn't pay attention now they were forced to go out and the Bible says, while they went, what happened? The door was closed. The door was closed. There are some things you are receiving right now. That you will bless God for tomorrow. I just sat this afternoon and I was just praying. I was just praying for everyone. And blessing God for the ability to hear and to receive the word of the Lord. Was that rain? If that's rain, bring the chairs inside. Bring the chairs. Just find anywhere and sit down. Come. Ushers, help them. Add chairs in the front. Add chairs everywhere. Come and sit down in the pulpit. It's the word that you are hearing now that will give you shelter tomorrow. Huh. You have been a shelter in the rain you have been a doctor when in pain lord you've been a listener when i call oh lord you've been my friend you have been a shelter in the rain you have been a doctor when in pain you have been 
a listener when I call Oh Lord You've been my friend Listen No matter what you are going through today is nothing compared to the whiplash that ignorance and lack of preparation will bring. I don't care what it is. So long as you are breathing. The Bible says a time will come. People will look for death and it will run away. What kind of suffering will make a man look for death? Sit down anywhere. Sit on the floor. It's better to sit on the floor. Don't be ashamed of the camera. We are not... We are not playing, we are not acting film here. This is, this is life. Find a place, sit everywhere. Come and sit around. Occupy some of these seats if you can. Just leave the minister's seats. Sit any other place. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I treasure the truths that I'm hearing and I take God seriously say one more time in the name of Jesus I treasure the truths that I'm hearing they are life to me because I found them hallelujah I receive calls almost daily, text messages, hundreds of text messages every day. And the major issue is that many people call and they are asking for help. Families. Believers who are born again, pastors, great men and women of God who are trying to find meaning as to why their lives are the way they are. Are you listening to me? Every time we counsel people, we counsel every Mondays and there are families that come with unanswered questions listen the level of unanswered questions that are falling upon people are becoming too serious people look people are asking questions questions about their personal success questions about longevity questions about health science has failed the government has failed i was reading the paper about i mean um, online now about um egypt and the commotion that is happening and this country and all the things that are happening and tears just filled my eyes i said lord i don't know what you did to me that made me to pay attention to your word but i pray that the people in koinonia will pay as much attention will pay as much attention the Bible says, my son, pay attention to my words. You see, let me tell you something. The days of begging people for the things of God are over. Are you listening to me? Where you tell people, oh, come, we'll give you sweets, two, two tom-tom, one vix, one tom-tom for coming. And the people say, really? Will they give it? Or oh, there's cold and then we'll prepare tea for you. And people come, they say, that tea I will take. Those days are over. Because whether or not see everybody in hellfire today believes in jesus i hope you know the only mistake is that they believe too late the bible teaches us that there is a time please project lamentations 328 lamentations 328 i forbid you i forbid you from failing in life in the name of the lord jesus I forbid you from entering prostitution as a result of not listening to this message. I forbid our brothers from becoming arm robbers. Arm robbers are not just the ones who jump fence. 
I forbid you from going to a harbor list because you think the word of God is not working. Do you know the number of people that patronize harbor list, Bishop? It's not a hidden thing again. Pastors, prophets, apostles, everybody. Look at graduates running helter skelter around Nigeria. Did you know that many people who run back to Zaria don't just run back because of desire? They run back because of the pain and the severity of the frustrations. But there is a way. God cannot leave people in the dark. There is a way. Listen, it's the glory of God to conceal a matter and the honor of kings to search it out. You must search it out. You must search it out. Hallelujah. You must search it out. It is good for a man. Man doesn't mean a male figure. just means a human being. It is good for a man that he bear his yoke. When? When? What is it about the youth of a man? The Bible says the glory of men is their strength. Is that true? Bear the burden. Pay the price. That's why I say this every time. You will quote me in the future. No matter how you cry, I don't care how you are looking at me, I will say it. Hate me, I will say it. I will preach it. We will file you. When you become a wonder tomorrow, you will look for us and say thank you. See, when you are in the training ground, there are some things you don't think about. You don't say, ah, my makeup, this powder is 10,000. Uh -uh. Or you say, Kai, this is my suit. Is uh -uh. When you are in the training ground, you are there for business. It is when you win that you will celebrate. Is that true? Now is the time for training. So when we say pray in tongues, don't just say, ah, this fine guy is he looking. Pray! Open your mouth and pray. If you don't pray, life will whip you and you will still open that mouth. It will be open. The only thing is for what? Either to announce your pain and tragedy to the world that cannot help or to cry before God who is our help? I say, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. See, if you really get this thing, you have gotten it forever. Are you hearing me? I want one lady who can cook. You know, don't you know it's not pride. God has blessed you. You know you, whether you're a caterer or something, stand up. Just one. Who is that? No, no, I'm not going to say you cook. It's an illustration. So, let's call the ones we are sure of. Opie, stand up. <laughs> oh yeah, now, stand up. Look at this, listen. If we ask you to make cake now, can you make it with absolute confidence? Ask me the same question. Ask me. No. I may try. It may work. I don't know. That's how many people's lives are. You tell them, how can you lead a man from point A to P? They say, well, I know. See, there is a level of persuasion I want you to get. Not just belief, persuasion. See how she just smiled about the key thing. But if they ask you to, there are some of us, you've made it once, twice. Hallelujah. It wasn't bad, but you are not sure. Is that true? When I saw this guy snapping, and Oga John, I knew they knew what they were doing. Ask me to snap. All I know is to look at you and press that thing. Doesn't matter how it comes out. But these guys know something about perspective and angles and the rest. This is what I'm teaching you. Don't just enter the world blindly and hoping that things will change. There is a fierce world out there. Are you listening to me? You're not going to live in health by mistake. Please get this. Are you listening to me? Living in health is not a mistake. You're not going to be prosperous by mistake. One day you wake up and say, wow, so I made it. Mm -mm, it will never be by mistake. You're not going to know God by mistake. You won't have a glorious life and a ministry by mistake. You will not raise children after the fear of God by mistake. This thing of mistake or nemesis or if God wants it, he will do it. Stop that kind of language. It's not a good language. 
Say, if God really wants to bless me, after all, I didn't ask him for Jesus to die. So why would, if he, wouldn't he freely give me all things? See, if you don't pay attention, you will be surprised. Is that true? Now, Hope, let me ask you. Was there a time you could make cake but not very well? What did you do? Did you train yourself? You went for catering school, Mrs. Kait, Abby. Now, listen. You went, you, she followed those who, with faith and patience, leaving Sam around, going to PZ every time because she was determined. Is that true? Now, she can bake cake for wedding. Somebody will give her 50,000 overnight. Is that true? And somebody will say, I hope that the same, uh, our birthday is the same. No, it's not the issue of birthday. This is why people get angry at the success of their colleagues. Because they think life respects age. Ask Elihu. They say, ah, when did the uh, promise become successful like this? When the same koinonia, the same, in the same class, taught by the same teacher somebody will get 100 somebody will get zero is that true god bless you please sit if you pay attention if you pay attention and you give it seriousness i promise you it's a guarantee i promise you you know what i said this thing right from when we used to meet at the back of chapel that we will be so successful and the beautiful part is that we will all know ourselves so that it will not be guesswork you will know what you did you know when you ask a pretty lady you say i, I see how fine you're looking what is response you say is god bro. yes it's god but let me explain to you is god god gave grace you took advantage of that grace Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. He said, but this grace was not showered upon me in that I labored more than he all. It's God that gives children. It's the woman that carries the gift. Correct? So that tomorrow, when you are blessed, it will not be a mistake and the purpose of the blessing is to make others a blessing that's why your blessing can never be by mistake god will teach you the steps and you can guide somebody tomorrow some of you you are looking at me now some of you will be the ones on air presidents of nation will come to see the hand of god upon your life and when they ask you you'll be talking to other people when you see somebody sagging his jeans and laughing you say look for your own good you better watch this childishness and sit down in one place it's not the issue, oh, I can do both. It's the matter of the heart. Sit down and allow God to build you. Hallelujah. Proverbs 18, we've been considering the su subject of success. I tell you, my spirit is fired up. Proverbs 18. We began two weeks ago by talking about the spiritual dimension of success give me this mountain hallelujah played the documentary and we thought i told you that success is spiritual everything life in itself is spiritual don't let secular humanists deceive and confuse you life is spiritual hallelujah then we considered the place of wisdom the dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten by studies the dimension of wisdom that cannot be gotten by accumulation of experiences job said this wisdom is not found in the life in the land of the living hallelujah today i want to talk still building on success what do you have in your house proverbs 18 i want to share a powerful secret and i trust god that will pray proverbs 18 verse 16 Proverbs 16. Let's read together. You can look up. One to read. And bring it him before great men. One more time. Now, where a man is, put your name. Ready to read? One, two. Don't say my gift. My is not your name. This is English. One, two. Go again. One, two, three, four, 
Mean it from your heart now. One, two, go. Father, bless your word tonight. In the name of Jesus, give us understanding. Let the fruits of this teaching speak. Let it abide in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says the gift of a man can do what? The word make there is create. It can create space for him in life. And usher him. Can we get it from NIV? Or New Living Translation? Anyone? Ah, is, that's, that's, not, is that, that's not the version. That's a different. 1816. A gift does what? It's, it's not saying a gift like a bribe. No, just forget. It's not like a bribe. We're not talking of Nigeria here. Are you following me now? Because many of you, that's what you think I'm talking about. No, I'm not saying a gift like a seed. Huh? No, a gift, the gift of a man. It says what, my dear? It opens the way for who? Not the giver's friend. Not the giver's brother. It opens a way for what? And does what? And ushers him into the presence of it says the gift of a man. Whether there is space or not, the gift can push people and create space for him and usher him into the place of the great. A man's gift can make room. Have you ever heard people say no space? Have you heard that language? Sorry, no space. If there was space, would have helped you. The Bible says a man's gift has the ability to push people and make space. Not only that, when other people are segregating, it can usher him to the place of the great. Hallelujah. It can usher him to the place of the great. Write it quickly. What is a gift? God-given abilities. God-given abilities. Your potentials. God-given abilities. That's simply what a gift is. Your God-given ability. The Bible says if you take it seriously, it can create space for you in life. This night we're not just talking of gift, we're also talking of skill. What's your skill? Your learned abilities, acquired abilities. The difference between a gift and a skill is that one is God-given. It can only be developed. The other one can be learned. It can be acquired. Both of them have the capacity to bring you before great people. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us of an interesting person called Joseph. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he had Joseph, by the way, please, Joseph was not a dreamer, for God's sake. Are you listening to me? Joseph was not a... There was nothing spectacular about the dreams of Joseph. As far as we know in the Bible, he had only two dreams. How many times have you, had a, have, have you dreamt? Are you a dreamer? So Joseph was not... His gift was not dreaming. His gift was the ability to interpret dreams. Are you following me now? So the Bible says that... Because of that ability, his brothers envied him. Many things happened. And then the Bible, I'm just rushing now. The Bible says when he was put, remember when, when um, Potiphar's wife and all her story, 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 let's just jump it. He found himself in the prison. Is that true? And the Bible says when he found himself in the prison, there was the wine presser and the baker. But he realized that he had something. Is that true? Are you following me now? When it was time for God to bless him, God made the king to dream and close the heavens over the sorcerers and the magicians. Are you listening to me? They got up in the morning and tried to do their enchantment as usual. No way. Because it was time for God to bring a man into success. But God realized that a gift can open a way what way? The way of the prison. 
Nothing else would have opened that way for Joseph because they were not planning to bring him out. Is that true? There are many people today who do not realize that if they take advantage of the gift of God that is in them, it has the ability to take them from where they are into realms that they never dreamt possible. And tonight, this is our prayer. We've been examining the principles of success. There is a dimension of success that only your gift can bring to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your gift. This dependency attitude of Nigerians is what has stopped them from exploring their gift. Ale, Ale Baka Musamu. Have you heard that statement? What is it in English? May God give you so that we will get. It's, it's a wrong concept of dependence. That's how many of us are waiting. Say, oh boy, just get work. Once you are there, just remember me. Your boy is there. Oh. See, let me tell you. If that is your mindset, you are going to suffer in this Nigeria. And in case you think you will run abroad, you will still suffer. There are still people, there are people under the bridge of every nation, true or false. Every nation in the world has, has bridge and there are people that sleep there. It's just that films don't carry it. There is ghetto everywhere, true or false. So, many of us have this escapism mind. You are just trying to get lottery and say, oh God, let this green American lottery just happen. They would go and see how many Nigerians live like, like outcasts abroad. Because they believe. I've told you, there is nowhere called greener pastures. Greener pastures is the word of God. The Bible says, he makes me lie down. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Many people want to run to Delta or rivers. Say, ah, oh yeah, we're coming to chop our share of the national cake. Go and find out how many poor people were born and bred in that same land. Are you listening to me? Everybody say, I have a gift. Say it, I have a gift. It can make room for me. It can take me from where I am to where God wants me to be. Hallelujah. Second Kings. Somebody is catching this thing and leaving some realms forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Catching this and leaving some realms forever. Hallelujah. Who would have known that comedians will be paid millions in Nigeria today? Look up please everybody. How many of you used to play football and you come back home and they've kept the cane to flog you? As soon as you are entering, there's a way you greet your father. He says, hey, hey, you already know that this night. But today, that same football, are you listening to me? That same football has blessed people. Comedians, for heaven's sake, they won't come until you give them 2.5 million or 5 million to come and talk. They just crack a joke. Hallelujah. There are artists today. Artists today. Those who draw caricature for banks. They are paid millions of naira. Millions of naira. Listen. If you get what I'm teaching you this night. Something will happen in your life. Some of you it will happen instantly. A young man called Gray Farah. Many of you know him. Gray Farah at age 10 was wondering what to do with his life and he found out that he liked stones and he decided to start painting stones so that people will use it to just you know just press their books and their doorposts and people started looking at him and laughing every time people saw it they just laughed and they said well let's just help this small boy little did they know that that was a champion in the making a time came he started packaging those stones very well at age 12 gray father became a millionaire at age 14 he was seated in the board of directors of 14 companies age 14 how old are you are you listening to me i want you to know 
that if you take advantage of the gift, the gift of God is his seed in you that is supposed to help you enter the realm where you have influence and honor to legislate on behalf of heaven. Are you listening to me? Jeremiah Gyang, I've told you, Jeremiah Gyang used to be in Joss. That guy they call Jeremiah Gyang. Now, um, whether they are serving Satan or God is not the issue now. Are you listening to me? The issue is that the gifts were developed. You, you, get, you get the point? The guy you call M.I. I've said it. Jesse Jacks. Were Sunday school mates. While all of us were looking at ladies. Hey, pastor's daughter. These, those guys were building their potentials. Just like some of you were doing. You go to church. You won't sit down. You will use your offering money, buy ice cream, be playing ball at the back of the church. That's what you were doing. Whereas others were hearing the word and going. See the difference right now. Are you listening to me? That these things have been perverted does not negate the fact that if they are gifts, they will still bring men to honor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Second Kings 4. The story of an interesting woman. Now, there cried a certain woman... Of the wives of the sons of the prophet. So the, the person was the son of a prophet. Look at me. I want to tell you something. Maybe I'm going to create another controversy now this night. Listen. That your man of God or your spiritual father or mentor is anointed. Does not automatically guarantee that you will enter success. Did you hear what I'm saying? The Bible says this guy was the son of who? That means it does not respect anointing. Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest what thy servant, that thy servant feared the Lord. And the creditor is come to take my two sons to be slaves. And Elisha said to her, listen now. This woman was in a situation where she needed a miracle. Two of her children were going to go as slaves. Hallelujah. What did Elisha tell her? He said, what shall I do for you? And he asked a question. He said, tell me, what hast thou in thy house? What do you have where? In your house. And the Bible says there is this treasure in this house, these earthen vessels. He said, what do you have? The woman had been running helter-skelter, running helter-skelter, and she met the prophet. And the prophet said, what do you have in your house? Could it be that many of you who have been running helter-skelter or many families need to calm down and look at what you have in your house? I've learned by experience and by the word that the blessing of a man is always not far from him. It's just that there is no discernment to recognize it. Are you listening to me? Yes, the blessing of a man is always not far from him. Sometimes it's ridiculously close. You may not even know. There were many people who walked with Jesus, yet they were looking for miracles and until Jesus went to heaven, they were not blessed. Because they did not realize. Your miracle can be so close, you may not know. The Bible says, And she said, Thy handmaid had not anything in the house except what? A pot of oil. You see how she didn't place value on it? The Bible says she said, Thy handmaid had what? Nothing. Nothing. That means this thing is not of worth, but just for the sake of answering you, let it be there. Thy handmaid had nothing. There are many of you that God has given you certain things and you have been calling it nothing. 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 The gift of a man. Whether it's a spiritual gift, is whatever kind of gift the bible says the gift of a man can single-handedly pick you where you are take you out and exalt you it can it can i tell you it can hallelujah the man called reinhard bonke he said he was considered by everybody to be a dollar what people call a dollar complete dollar dollar iq low everything low but one day he discovered that there was the gift of God in his life. And today, hundreds of thousands of people all over the world celebrate this man. 
called Reinhard Bonke. His name is synonymous to soul winning because he discovered the gift and it created space for him among the great. It ushered him. When you are mentioning great people in history, you will mention him. Men who have done great things for the kingdom. Are you listening to me? In history, there's a woman called Mother Teresa. Didn't have the ability to heal the sick and do all of this, but she discovered that she had a gift in her. She refined it to a point that she gave it and gave her life and forever history will remember her. Are you hearing me? The gift of a man. I want you to know that there is an ability in you. Nobody here is a biological accident. I know you've been hearing it. Ah, your parents planned for four children and you are the fifth one. You just came. And every time they see you, they say, see, we didn't prepare for you. So you, you better know this thing. You are stubborn. No wonder we didn't prepare for you. And for some of us, these words have entered us. But I'm speaking to you tonight. That out of the six billion people in the earth, there is still space for those who are ready to make their... See, at the top, there is space. The congestion is always below. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you can pay the price to rise to the top, you will sit there and be wondering. 90% of the world's wealth is controlled by less than 10% of the world's population. And they left the remaining 10%. They spread it across and flung some in Africa and everybody is running like rats. Whereas somebody can arise. A man called Wole Soinka got up and looked and said, look, the boundaries of Africa will not stop me. He knew that he had something. See, I want you to be persuaded. Persuaded. It always does not look like it can make you great until you see the way men celebrate it. Matthew Ashimolo hawk bread in this area. Some of our parents bought bread from him. While they were eating it, he was prophesying, Lord, the world will hear me. You say, I bring bread, 20 naira you take. Yet, this guy was moving. Within a short period of time, now he has commanded what we call apostolic territorial legislation. That's what he's doing in London. But acres and hectares of land that they would never give to a black person. And he's legislating on behalf of heaven. A man called Sondia Delaja, till date he does not speak fluently. He got up and went to a communist country, Ukraine, and stayed there. Led a part of those who led, right now he's among the fourth most influential people in that state. 80% of the people in his church are whites. He has led a revival and broken some barriers. Say after me, my gift. Say it, my gift will make room for me. Let me share with you a little story they know about it years ago i went to a particular bank in this country to go and beg for loan i just entered promising i believe god spoke in tongues fasted prayed i got up you know there's a way they can look you see let me tell you people have be careful i'm warning you now in advance be careful the way you, you turn people down. Because let me tell you, it does not show. The Bible says, now it does not yet appear. Went to squat in my friend's house in Abuja. I got up, went to the bank, met them. Told them I was begging for loan. These people dribbled me, dribbled me, made a fool out of me, embarrassed me in the bank. I, didn't, I said, what is all this thing? And I laughed. I said, one day, they will call me. Are you hearing that? One day. What's the name of this guy that ran for second uh, vice president? Tunde Bakari. A bank came and met him and said, Sir, we are begging you to collect a loan of $10 million. We want to give you. No capital. The name of the capital is human capital. Do you know what human capital is? You and your reputation is what will be a, a collateral. So banks are looking for Dangote and looking for this. And then 
some of you run there and they say get out of this place we are looking for people who have used their gifts tell yourself no man will mock your god in your lifetime this is what has happened to some of you you see your father stand no rent and a landlord will stand and blast all of you blast you say look at you pretty for nothing eh? you are all these kind of nigerian people just laugh and say you will invite him when you are cutting the scissors of the duplex you are building for your parents the gift of a man 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 makes room for him i'm speaking to some of you some of you think don't just think i'm motivating you i'm speaking to your spirit i told myself i will never go anywhere where anybody will look and i'll have to chicken out and hide myself i have something i have something i have something when you find it, it so happens that God carved your own like your fingerprints. God is not a fool. He will not put competition around. He gave you your uniqueness. What is your uniqueness? When you know your uniqueness and you are persuaded about it, you found your secret of glory in life. Did I do something here? I think I've done something. Did, was it me? Okay hallelujah praise god hallelujah i have seen people in this life that years ago they would look at me they wouldn't some of them <laughs> let me tell you something ah life somebody who will be driving you today tomorrow will be the one who it will be the honor i've gone to homes that i went years ago years ago they were looking at me like some of these unserious people but now, when they hear you are coming, it's as if God is coming. Say, say after me, the gift of a man. Yes. The gift of a man makes room for him. Makes room. The brothers of Joseph did not realize his gift. They didn't know it would be an honor one day for them to see their own brother. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One time they went and suddenly they found out that their brother was now the prime minister in Egypt could it be that some of you who are sitting down today somebody who has looked at you and said Tolu one day the person will say Tolu please talk to XYZ for us may God make you a wonder may God stop you from being small what is that gift what is that gift for some of you is wisdom. When you think of Benny Hinn, you think of the healing anointing. When you think of Aura Roberts, you think of healing. When you think of JJ Okocha, you think of football. Mark Zuckerberg, you think of IT. What is your uniqueness? Define what makes you different. That's what the world will pay for. What makes you different? The greatness is not in your similarity. The greatness is in your difference. When you master your difference, you will exchange it for honor. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. The world is full of people. What is your difference from others? Do you know it? Do you even believe it? There are many musicians in this country equally anointed. But when you call Sinach, there is a, there is a, a carving she has carved a brand for herself when you mention frank edwards they they not only discovered their gifts they discovered what was unique about that gift that's what makes you priceless when you discover that gift you will know that you are not one of the many people roaming around the earth oh there is something about your life you may be in the same class you may be in the same office but let me tell you you are not the same you are not the same you may be doing ministry everybody is doing prophetic ministry everybody is doing apostolic ministry everybody is doing evangelical ministry what is it about yours what is it about yours every great man in life not only discovered his or her gift but the uniqueness about that gift what is your uniqueness? What makes you stand out from the rest? I'm asking you and God is asking you. What makes you stand out from the remaining people? Listen. When you find your gifts, 
the next step is to begin to refine it this is the hardest part because your gift at its default state is not good enough to make you marketable do you hear what i'm saying refine yourself build yourself a lot of us don't do this christians are very 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 lazy people you know what made us lazy the fact that there is something called the favor of god there is something called the wealth of the wicked that will be transferred to the righteous and people just say my wealth come find your way into my pocket <laughs> look let me tell you people have been confessing that thing from the day you were born and they thought it just works like that till today it has not come when the bible says the wealth of the wicked people just people just just craft that thing and pick out what they want the wealth of the wicked will come into the bible says god give it to a man that is good in his sight wisdom and he said to the unbeliever he give it to heap and to travail so that he will bring it it is your wisdom hallelujah what is your gift what is your uniqueness what makes you stand out what makes you stand out among all of the graduates in nigeria what do you think will make you get a job what do you think will make you become a ceo what do you think will make you become an uncommon i preached a message extra what did i what extraordinary anointing what makes you extraordinary hallelujah what makes you extraordinary it's not your place of birth it's not even whether you are from a royal family or not what makes you different from other people if i write a book today what is the difference between my book and that of david biome or that of bishop oyedeko or that of paul Enenche. what is the difference many of you like doing the same things that's why you are not moving anywhere this is how a lot of people we like we think it will work because you are doing copy and paste there is beauty in being unique are you listening there are even even among bad people there are some arm robbers that are notable because they were unique their degree and strategy of arm robbery was so touching they said no i won't steal like the rest this thing is common there is a strategy this follow follow attitude is good to follow people but you must follow with wisdom many of you every time god is telling you move left and you see a crowd moving right you think you are wrong a whole nation can be wrong that a thing is popular does not mean it is right the path of greatness is a lonely path few people follow it that's why you will not find many people you would think you are making a mistake wait until you arrive there everybody will turn and say ah i need pastors in that journey hallelujah what is your gift do you realize that if you take that gift some of us is plotting just plotting do you know that if the lord anoints it and wisdom comes upon that gift you will be able to establish something that will make you so influential you can legislate for the kingdom are you listening to me a lot of people say billy graham all the presidents go to greet him but what people do not know is that it was part of his life's goal. He believed that he was called to evangelize to great people. His, he really didn't believe his gift was just normal evangelism. He believed that he was called to evangelize to great people. He sent them hundreds of telegrams again and again. They kept bouncing him. He didn't stop. What you see or what you have seen is the reward of many years. There are some of you, God has spoken a lot of things. God has told you. Some of you will own banks. Some of you will own corporations. Hallelujah. You started selling recharge card, nothing happened. People just say, and you know believers have this ugly way. Once you start something, nobody buys it. They say, oh God, leave this thing. You know, if God is in it, speed will come, favor will come. It is lack of the understanding of the principles of the kingdom. 
You can never know success until you know failure. In the school of greatness, your greatest asset is your failure. Are you listening to me? Are you following me? I'm teaching you something very powerful. My gift can make room for me. My gift can make room for me. Worship team. Roti means rehearsing all the time. Hallelujah. He's been with us for years. We've, we've gone, every, I know how much he rehearses money because he believes. This is, a, this is a master student. I think he should have rounded up his masters. But he just believes that there is something upon this. And he's taking it all the way. Tomorrow, presidents will call him and he'll just be playing. And they'll sign checks of millions and you'll be wondering and saying, ah, ah just keyboard you you play your own as you are playing they just they point they will even talk to you they'll just say this way go out those who do decoration do you know there are those who do decoration for presidential figures there's this guy called yam yal yam press jordan what's his name i i heard that he was in zaria here is that true now he got up with his publishing and today he has become a multi-millionaire yet there were others who started before him this afternoon we went to pray for um, one of our ladies father and she can while we were passing somewhere we saw this i mean we we're talking about people who were pushing who used to push wheelbarrow jakes was saying ah this wheelbarrow business used to sell before and we we're talking and then wale pointed one man's shop and said this man it was by pushing that wheelbarrow right now he has one of the largest shops Say, I will not let men despise my gift. Say it. Many of you have stopped developing your gift because you have been lied to. Some of you can cook and all you can cook is Amala. And you, you have a dream of having somewhere just Amala. People will laugh as a you self. Abba. You want to disgrace the world. See, greatness lies in the bosom of those who can go the extra mile with their gifts refuse to let men talk you down it's better to take a step and fail honorably they will clap for you the one who tried and failed is better than the one who didn't try and is just making noise oh pass the ball to number five ah you would have just passed that in now if you are taking that penalty this way look at simple penalty see you see goalkeeper talk is cheap somebody is sweating in the field for 90 minutes somebody else is talking say if it was me that thing the way he did it like you that you would have been a goal now that's how many people in life are how can a graduate not get a job how can blah 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 and they're not doing anything you're in 200 level your lecturer told you ah you're a nice student say, i cannot understand why graduates are not getting jobs then you finish and carry your cv to the same man that commended you <laughs> and he says get out of my office you're like ah, -ah. Say after me, my gift will make room for me. Say, my gift will make me great. Say one more time, my gift will make me great. Yes. Some of you are architects. You are good, but not very good. And God is telling you, refine that gift. One day you will get, let me tell you something. Once you can provide solution, nobody cares about your age or what you can do or who, are you hearing me? The gift of a man defies race and age and anything. Once you see people discriminating you, your gift is not notable enough. When your gift is notable enough, you will break every kind of barrier. Hallelujah. What do you have in your house? And the woman said, nothing. Probably somebody said, me, I can just make people laugh. That's my own. Everybody calls me a dollar. Zero in math, zero in English, P in social, uh, and, you know, just anything, literature. But you can speak small. At least make people laugh. Why don't you say, Lord, if you can use this. This is what Reinhard Bonke said. He said, Lord, if you can use this, then use me. Do you know your beauty too is a gift? Hello? There are cynical guys that anytime they see a pretty lady, they are just angry. 
Why? I don't know. Say, look, don't think because you are beautiful in this place. Beauty is nothing. It's a lie. Beauty is something. Beauty is a gift. The book of Esther, there was no pastor, no prophet, nothing, just a beautiful woman. She was the ambassador of God. Many of you feel guilty for being fine as if you gave back to yourself. It has happened. It has happened. Cherish it. Build it. And use it for the glory of God. Don't use it to go to men in TJ Palace. Tell yourself this beauty. Could it be that God will make you marry the minister of finance? So that when you are there as Esther, when they want to cut corners, you say, uh-uh. Do you believe this? I want you to be wealthy. I want you to be blessed. Don't let anybody fool you that money will take you to hell. It's not true. Money only amplifies what you are. If you are a thief, money will make you a bigger thief. If you are, if you are immoral, money will give you more options. You can now rent a bigger hotel. If you love God and have a desire to advance his kingdom, money will make you do that better. You will build roads. You will build schools. When I went to Sheik, I was sharing with them. I said, one of my dreams in life is to have a very big hospital. This is why you need to be successful. Say, I will be successful. Don't feel guilty about it. Say it. Say, I'll be rich. I'll be blessed for the kingdom. Yes. Can you give God your beauty? Yes, I have nothing but everybody keeps telling me I'm a pretty person. Why don't you bring it and say, Lord... You can use this. Anoint it. Let this beauty make room for me. And take me to a place where I'm in a position of influence to legislate for the kingdom. Some of you are very intelligent. People are sweating, reading overnight. You wake up that morning, one hour to the exam and browse and get A. You think it's ordinary. It's an ability of God. Why don't you stretch it through and say, I will get to a position where i will do great things when they make me a vice chancellor because of my academic prowess i will now legislate on behalf of heaven when they bring the names of people who don't qualify we kick them out and say no this person may be poor but he deserves a chance give him a chance are you listening to me some of you will put scholarships for less privilege some of you will name it after your accomplishments you will be so great they will name a foundation after you Joshua Selman Foundation. No, no. Look, it will happen. The beauty of success is that it depends on you and God. It will happen. It will happen. You know how many women have named their children Joshua? Look at how long Matthew's son name is Ashimo Lowo. The whole world is calling it. They have never complained that it's too long. When you become great, when you become great in life, when you become great in life, I watched a DVD of Apostle Johnson Suleiman. He went for a crusade. When he came down, I saw how the God, they interviewed him in CNN for 12 minutes. Nobody will say you are a Nigerian or you are an African. No. Listen. Are you going to remain where you are? Are you not seeing your family members crying? Is it not obvious that they need a savior? How many of you have seen your father come under pressure? No rent. No nothing. What are you doing about it? I told myself I'll come to a point in my life where I'll put all my family members on perpetual salary for their lifetime till they go to be with Jesus Christ. Brothers, how will you like that kind of thing? If wishes were horses, beggars will beg to ride, but wishes are not horses. But you can turn that wish into a horse. By applying these principles I'm teaching you. And you will ride on it gloriously. What do you have in your house? This is what God is asking you. What do you have? What do you have in your house? Don't sit down and be admiring great people and say, Hey, lucky for them. Oh, you people have gone. Don't pray for us. 
Say, I'm going to do something. Say it. If you know your uniqueness, how many books are you reading? How many books? How many books are you reading? Readers are leaders. How many books are you reading in the area of your call? If you are snapping this camera, if you cannot mention five people in this country that are good or around, I know you are not serious. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You, is that, God is calling me into a healing ministry. Show me whose DVDs you have. Who God has called into that healing ministry. Where you are, you are reading how they started. When you go to my house, you don't find, okay, there's, there, there are two movies now. The, the, the Lord of the Ring is still there. Then this Tyler Perry's film. Menace, no? I can't remember again. I can't even remember the name. But there are people that have modeled what I see God making me become. And I sit down. I study. I want to empower God's people. I want to make them ambassadors. Set them on fire. Do you have a unique grace? Do you have a unique gift? Are you doing anything about it? Some of you just sit down and keep pitying yourself. And disturbing those who are moving towards their destiny. Try this life self. Now wow. If we were abroad by 18 years, they would have given us this. If you, listen, I'm not laughing this night. If you don't stop that attitude, you will find that you are 50 years and you are still talking like that. Now, you know there are some people who believe it's just nemesis. That's just how life is for us. Naughty used to work in our family. My sister too is like that. No job, no marriage. Me mom like that. No job, no marriage. As if you do not know that you can change it. You go to a place of employment, they kick you out, laugh, and say one day we will drink tea with the CEO of this company. We went to Shika and one, one, one man just stopped us. One guard man that is trying, where he was doing his job. The guy stopped us and said, we are not going anywhere. We were trying to plead him, saying we are not going anywhere. And Shade's husband is like the ogre of the whole... You know, the security company that employs the people. So I called Shadi. I said, Todd, they've stopped us. So wanted to go and pray for her father. And she was just happy. She just got one bigger guy. The guy just marched and came. When they came, at once they allowed us and we waved the man and we left. <laughs> Be careful what you call impossible. Because somebody will come and make it possible. Would have, there were some people who were waiting there. But when Chade's husband came, he saluted him and we're happy. We're partakers of the glory. It taught me a lesson. It taught me a powerful lesson. Impossible is a relative statement. They can close the door for others and say, sorry, it cannot be opened. Sorry, it cannot be opened. You will be amazed to see how they will open it for somebody. I told you there are some people that bank on Saturdays and Sundays too. Is that true? It's only for the masses that bank ends 3 p.m. on Friday. They say, oh yeah, go out, let's lock this bank. But there are people on Sunday, because of one man, they'll open the bank and say, Your Excellency, sir, please, come in. We went to Starcoms and I saw one account officer sitting there. Why will a bank give an account officer to come and sit? In a, in a, in a telecommunications company. Some of you, you will have in your own house. You say, so how much are we sending for this school now? Send 10 million for this school, 10 million for this one, 50 million for this. I hear that there is a church building. Send 15 million for it. God punish the devil. Let me talk like Dr. <laughs> Let me talk like Dr. Ebert Damina. He likes it. God punish the devil. Say, I will be great in life. I'm inspiring you tonight. This was the decision I made years ago. Let me tell you the truth. This decision will cost you something. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you willing to pay the price? The woman said, nothing except a little cruise of oil. What did the prophet tell her? He said, go and borrow. You, you are not permitted to borrow oil, but you can borrow vessels. What are vessels? Books, DVDs, experiences. Sit down under the feet of mentors and great people that have gone ahead and listened. I've told you, 
this attitude of saying we are all equal we are equal in christ but when it comes to the school of greatness wisdom is ability to recognize difference there are people i will never no matter how crazy i am i will never if i ever get to a meeting and they are seated there i must salute and recognize them before speaking wisdom mike modok says is the ability to recognize difference many of you don't know difference at all hallelujah doctors don't go about looking for sick patients they establish an institution and say if you are sick find your way here is that true if you really want to be treated what will you do you have to go to the hospital is that true many of us want the doctors to come and find us and treat us sorry life does not work like that get up and begin to do something about your life make up your mind five o'clock in the morning i'm awake how can a young man be sleeping by 10 11 12 you yawn by 12 when others are already writing their names in time and you you wonder why things will not work for you let me tell you god is a merciful god but he's a just god i know the number of times i sleep in a day i'm always building myself nobody will deceive me compared to where i'm going this is just a step out of the cave are you listening to me this is rehearsals i tell people ministry has not started yet when we get to that level of kingdom influence where we will not talk too much at that time i won't be shouting like this again it's when you don't have results you shout too much charles and francis hunter say one miracle is worth a thousand words if michael jackson only said jesus is lord that statement with that level of influence will bring more harvest than what we'll be doing every week in Zaria here for one year. Is that true? Everybody say influence. This is what your gift. Let me tell you very quickly before we pray. What your gift can do for you. Number one. Your gift and your skills. When refined and developed will create opportunities. Everybody say opportunities. Your gift. Your skill. When refined. When developed, my friend, a military man, took me to a place in Abuja. When I entered that place, is a is a spa place, a beauty place. They took me there to bath me. Ah! When I entered that place, I knew that there was difference between clipper and clipper, barbing saloon and barbing saloon, barbers and barbers. The way they treated me when I sat down and they barbed me. In my mind, I was saying, is this me? Hallelujah. When they finished, they put a lotion. I don't know what it is. My head just foamed like Father Christmas. And they told me, enter this room. I entered. I was enjoying. I don't care what it is. I don't need to know. I will employ somebody who knows when I'm blessed. Hallelujah. And when they washed my head and I finished, they appreciated me. Ah! I said, what kind of place is this? And they showed me the owner, a Lebanese woman who was also walking quietly. Nobody even knew. When we finished everything, time came for bill. It said 600 naira. For barbing, That's what you will pay when you meet someone who has refined his gifts. The same food, a cup of coffee in Transcorp Hilton is 2005. Everybody say cup of coffee. How much is coffee? Next cafe, this type they shake there. How much? 50 naira. If you price 20 naira. Yet is the same thing you pay. This decoration you are seeing. There are people who can decorate over 2 million, some even 5 million. You will name your price by your refining of your gifts. Write it. Your gift and your skill will create opportunities. If Rotimi continues this a day, see how the opportunity will come is none of your business. Just know it will come. The Bible says, just like you do not know the way of the wind or how bones are formed in the womb of how a child, 
So also you do not know the way of God. How it will happen is none of your business. Hallelujah. One of my uncles called me. My father's friend. Years ago when they come to our house, we are the ones who run to go and wash the car. How are you we'll go and wash? I said, no problem. I will wash it. He called me of recent and said, ah, ah. I've been hearing a lot. We are seeing the things you are doing. I said, bless God. Oh. He said, when will you come now? We need to discuss. There's something we need to sit down man to man. I said, that's right. <laughs> when, when your father starts talking to you like that, it's a sign that you are making progress. When your father says, there are some things I want to discuss with you, but I, when ev let everybody sleep, come out. Clap for yourself. You are trying. That's, that's a sign. When your father says, look, there are some secrets we don't tell people. Who are the people? When your gift starts showing, there are doors that will start opening. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of you, you think you are too young to enter some doors. No, sir. No, ma. If you, if you refine yourself, I promise you that door will open. There are places I've entered today by the grace of God. I know there is no human way under the sun under the sun that I will enter that place. Hallelujah, I have a gift. Laugh at me, the gift is in me. You will never go out. God gave it to me. The way God did it, God put the gift. The only way to enjoy the gift is to carry me along with the gift. You can't carry the gift and leave me. There are people today if the gift of God was not in my life, they will see me and just his and pass. But God orchestrated it. You must need me because you need that gift. Oh, I celebrate his name. That's why I rejoice. Such as I have. Go and borrow vessels. This is what the prophet said. Sister, borrow vessels. Read the books. You may, if you borrow vessels, the gift will expand. The oil was there. The problem was there was no vessel. Esther was beautiful, but her beauty was not yet sufficient to take her to the king's palace. Is that true? She was beautiful. Many of you are sitting on gifts today that you are paying for. During my birthday, the things that people brought for me, it was as if it was wedding. You know how they finish wedding and you pack the gifts. I just sat down. I say years ago, I did my birthday alone. Ah, somebody's after two weeks. You say, ah, is it not your birthday? Your birthday 25th, is it not? Am I wrong? Say you are right. So he said, oh, happy birthday. But there is something that can happen. One year before your birthday, somebody is preparing because of your gift. Who is God speaking to this night? Who is God speaking to this night? Who is God telling tonight that if you can pay attention, we are discussing on the subject of success. Some of you have been sitting on treasure. You are in the middle of an ocean begging for water. You are in the middle of an ocean. You are an artist. You are watching on TV drawings that are not half your capacity. They are rewarding the people whereas you are there. When I watch preachers on TV preach, I tell you with all humility, I just get up and I rejoice. I say, God, you tried for me. We're on our way coming. And I get up, I rejoice. I say, Lord, I may not know everything, but at least I know something. I know something that I can preach anywhere and not be ashamed. Come on now. Some of you, the business acumen that you have, even the CEOs of banks and cooperatives do not have. Listen, that you have not entered that place does not mean you don't have it. Who would have known that Zuckerberg's gift was so good like this? It takes time to prove it. But that does not mean it's not there. Some of our worshippers, some of these people you are seeing, the gifts that they have, you will see them tomorrow and say, I know this person. I know that person. Abel Damina was born in Samina here, Right here in this area. Who cares where I was born now? Who cares where I was raised? Even if it was with firewood we used to prepare and cook. It's, 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 look, when you are blessed, you are blessed. When you know it, you have known it. If it opens the door, it will open the door forever. It will open the door this week and close it next week. 
Say, I have a solution for the world. Say it, I have a solution. Some of you are music groups. Some of you are individuals. Who has talked you down? I'm speaking to somebody this night. Who has talked you down? Somebody ate your food and said, God forbid, if your restaurant is the only one, I will just, let me, I will learn how to cook by myself. Allow the person. Who has talked you down? I want you to know tonight that the spirit of the Lord is upon you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The spirit of creativity. Bel Bezalel. That spirit came upon him and he was given the mission of crafting. I'm speaking to you. Who has talked you down, my brother? Who has talked you down? See, many of you see us today and you think we were born this way. Wait till you hear some stories. When you see great people, you think they had opportunities to just climb. Let me tell you, it's not true. You don't want to know the things they have survived. Greatness lies in the bosom of those who have survived what others cannot survive. I don't care what you think you are going through. I, I slept on speakers and amplifier. It will never happen again forever. There were days we did not eat. There were days we trekked distances. But we did not allow what happened to us. I, there was a day I trekked from the roundabout where Chiki Republic. I passed Chiki Republic. I was hungry. I could not do anything about it. I trekked from there to aviation. What have you gone through that you think is stopping you? Some of you is complex. Just inferiority complex. Every time you want to rise, the devil keeps telling you, you know you did this, you know you are this, you know you are that. We are here tonight to call that devil a liar. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We are calling that devil a liar. There are some of you that the gift God has given you is a supernatural prophetic grace. Some of you is an apostolic ability. Every time in your dreams you see the whole world. Some of you are book writers that will write on common books. The gift of a man. He said borrow vessels. When she borrowed the vessels she entered. He said lock your door. There are some trainings you don't do in the open. You must close your door. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of you that like open. There are some times you need to close your door. Because what God will do in you. Is only him that can do alone. You will close your door. And she began to pour it. Do you know how, how many vessels? The pain it took for her to carry the vessels. While she was carrying the vessels, she said, I'm on, I'm on my way out. Never, never to be in this situation again. You are the solution to the prayer of your families. Some of you, many of them never experienced some things. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But could it be that God brought you tonight to speak to you? There are some of you who have been saying, oh, the government is not giving job, this and that. Could it be that God is trying to speak to you? I'm challenging you. Take what I'm saying seriously because we are going to pray. We will soon rise up to pray. And when it's time to pray, I want you to pray your life out. I told myself I am great. I'm great. I'm great. Joshua Selman, you are great. I speak it to myself every day. The world will hear you. You are a sign and a wonder. The anointing that is upon you is not common. Don't trivialize it. Give God thanks but celebrate it. If it's common, go and get it in the market. Hallelujah. The gift that God has given you, Oga John. There are photographers around. But it's not common. Believe it. There are some of you that have all kinds of gifts. You are administrators, uncommon administrators. As young as you are, you can sit down and administrate. You didn't read this admin. Could that gift take you? There are some of you who can write proposals. There are many of you who can do a lot of things. I'm speaking to you tonight. Wake up. Call your name and say, Wake up. One to go. See. Prophesy it from the spirit. One more time. One to go. Yes. The Bible says, Awake thou that sleepest. That means you have been sleeping. Awake thou that sleepest. And Christ will give you life. Somebody called me and said, Josh, at, 
at this level of your life what are you doing i said preparing for an extraordinary life this is what i'm doing right now this is what i do every day when people get up and run everybody is going for work everybody is doing i'm preparing for an extraordinary life oh and when the master is done with me he will present me as a masterpiece a symbol of his wisdom and artistry i speak to you you will hear this message many years after now when you stand and watch the world clap for you and tears stream down your face you will tell them this award is given to me in london but i was trained in zaria and i did not despise the chastening of the lord many of you this teaching is hard on you it's a wake-up call but despise not the days of chastening i bring you a word let the devil not lie to you you are great you are on your way to happen i don't care how many times you have failed in life when you become successful when a woman has a miscarriage 50 times and she gives birth the 51st time nobody will ask her how many times you had miscarriage we don't care are you hearing what i'm saying i am somebody i am somebody i am somebody i had that song years ago we went to sing in a church and while they were singing it they were laughing that song entered my spirit till today tell yourself i am somebody it's time to stop this false humility and start believing in what god this is what koinonia is all about intimacy with the holy spirit partnership with him to shake the world i would never if, if i tell myself i am not great i'm lying it's not humility it's foolishness say i am great say it one more time say it one more time say it one more time say the world will testify that i am great say the world will testify that i'm great say i will walk at it I may cry but I will walk at it it will cost me but I will walk at it understanding you are paying the price some of you will be mighty women of God as you are looking at me you you God has already shown you it does you are you are wondering how shall these things be like Mary he said thou art favored thou how did he even put it that salutation hail Mary mother of grace he said thou art favored among other women she said what meaneth these salutations how shall these things be don't you don't need to ask how it shall be let me tell you whether you are a mother here whether you are a father whether you are a sister a brother young or old at any level if you can allow god take a hold i have found my servant david and with my holy oil i have anointed him what has god given you i'm speaking to you what has God given you? Oh, God has given you leadership. Take it to the extreme. Let that gift make room for you. God has given you grace for ministry. Take it to the extreme. God has given you business acumen. Stand up and establish those conglomerates. Don't let no devil talk nonsense to you. Let the employment of Nigeria not threaten you. Tell yourself, I will arise. I will create jobs. Thousands of jobs. Can be a lady and god is telling you you are entering into the finance world don't sit down and let people call you a weaker vessel it's time to begin to silence those demonic voices you've never held ten thousand of your money so what your gift will bring for you something your entire family did not hold hallelujah we are going to pray everybody close your eyes just in one minute before we pray close your eyes where you are and just begin to meditate in one minute i'd like you to begin to see yourself the champion that god has made you i'd like you to begin to see yourself solving the problems of mankind you are an ambassador see yourself shaking away the limitation of your culture see yourself shaking away that limitation who told you you cannot get there i'm speaking to your spirit 
Just close your eyes and meditate. I have found my servant David. I have a gift. I have an ability given by God. I have an ability. Men may not understand it now. Men may not understand it now. It's still in the process of refining. It's still in the process of refining. But when God is done with you, my sister, I tell you, although you cannot speak good English now, I am telling you, when that gift is done, you will stand near scholars and it will be an honor for them to stand with you. Yes, I know you came from the village. Yes, I know you came from the village. You've not afforded a good meal. But who told you that gift cannot take you? I'm speaking to you. Yes, you have not gotten admission. You wrote jam 20 times. But who told you that gift cannot rise up? I'm speaking to you. Yes, your wire didn't work well. Yes, you started that business and failed. But who told you that anointing is not in you? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I don't care what has happened. Yes, it is. Who told you that that anointing, the first day you prayed for a sick person, the person was not healed. In fact, he died. But God told you you have been called to take his healing power to the nations. Do you believe it? There are many of you that are, are TV hosts. God is taking you to do mighty things. Some of you are beauticians. Some of you are mighty men and women. Joshua the high priest stood before God. And Satan was there to accuse him. And he said, Satan, is this not a reed that I've taken out of fire? The Lord rebuke you. At any level you can start. Hear me tonight. I'm speaking to you. At any level you can start. Joseph, in one night, he slept as an ordinary slave. He woke up the next day and his gift made room for him. Somebody's gift will make room for him. Rise up on your feet. Hallelujah. Now in the next five to ten minutes, please, if you want to scatter yourself around, I want you to pray. Let me tell you, if I, if I say prayer and I see some of you looking at me, I'll come and hold your hands and pray with you here. Please, if you are sleeping, wake up. We are finished. Wake up. It's time to pray. Inside and outside. There's no space for you inside. Go outside to pray. I want us to pray. The Bible says, This charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you war a good warfare with the prophecy. Many of some of you don't know these giftings. You are going to pray and say, Lord, what did you put in me? What did you put in me? I'm tired of inferiority and complex. I'm tired of being thought out of as a second class person. What did you put in me for your glory? That's prayer point number one. Lift your voice right now and begin to pray. Come on now, Koinonia. You won't pray like this. You won't pray like this. Lord, what is that treasure? What do I have in my house? Young and old, pray, 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 pray. Sekete prekete ke pekete ke topo kosopata. Rekete proske pai. Maka prakata. Lekoto proske bariata. A prokoto pekete pekete bananaba. Make sure you are praying. Lord, what is that gift? What is the rod of God in my hand? I'm tired of trying to look like everybody. I'm tired. Of trying to talk like everybody. Koinonia, pray. Shekete te kosopeka. Sempre kete kepos. Rekete proskope e kotoriata. Mambroto zekete. Rekete posa. Lord, show me my uniqueness. Show me. It's a call on to me, and I will answer. I will show you. I will show you. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. 
Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Come on, Koinonia, pray. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. My father did not see it. My mother did not see it. Show me, oh God. There is a generation waiting for a revelation of the glory of God that is in me. Kapate prekete koto prekete. Pray. Pray. You came here tonight to pray. What do you have in your house? What do you have? Where is that ability that can make you stand anywhere? That will also give you a seat among the great. Koinonia, pray. I don't like the way some of you are praying. Come on, pray. Kate pokoto pekete. Sekete te pokotosa. Rekete kete pokosopa. Rapaka prosa kaya. Ma proskopedia. Contend in the spirit. Every power of darkness that wants you not to discover that gift in you, the Lord rebuke it. Pray, it will come out, it will come out, it will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Forget about where you are now. Forget about where you are today. Forget about what you don't have. Forget about what has happened. Pray. Pray. Invest into your tomorrow. Invest into your tomorrow. What is it, oh God? I call unto you. He said, call unto me. I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things he will show you in a dream he will show you in a vision he will show you through prophetic confirmation he will show you through your passion he will show you through your desires show me oh god show me oh god the gift that will end poverty in my lineage show me that gift that will end poverty show me that gift that will bring my family to greatness show me that gift Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. You're going to speak and say, Lord, I received a baptism of diligence to refine and develop my gifts. Are you hearing me? Some of us hear me. Some of us, you need to reduce your time of pointless visitations going to go and meet friends and gossiping and discussing about things that have no bearing to your future are you hearing me you're going to see whether it is in the rain in the sun you're going to tell yourself i may cry i may weep i may not look fine now as i'm doing it but i'm ready hear me some of you by this prayer you will need to cut away from godless and unserious friends well, hold on i'm speaking to some of you because for some of you it is your friends and your company that are keeping you from being great your this friend thing love is a command association is not there's nobody that says you must have many friends to show you are making progress in life they may gossip about you they may misunderstand you don't worry when you become great it will settle the matter are you hearing me you are going to pray now and say lord diligence the bible says see thou a man diligent in his business he shall not stand before mean men he shall stand before kings lift your voice and pray
Diligence to fast. Diligence to pray. Diligence to study. Day and night. Diligence to read books. Diligence to listen to tapes. Diligence to go for workshops. Keto be ketosa. Rekoto leke prosketia. I receive a baptism. A fresh baptism. A fresh baptism. A fresh baptism. Are you praying, Koinonia? Are you praying? Leke teke teke lebosh. Leke pro sekete lebosha. Ma pros ko sekete bosha. Rekete lekosia. Pray. Say I break free from ungodly movies, ungodly associations, ungodly places for the sake of my destiny. I pay the price. I pay the price. I sow the seed. I may weep, but I sow the seed. I can't be a failure in life. Shekete koto prekete bolo suba, rekete proskete keleba, ambre kotoshka rakata leko sopa. Yes, you are praying your way to greatness. You are praying your way to greatness. You are praying your way to prosperity. You are praying your way to generational blessings. You are praying your way to extraordinary impact. My sister, pray, pray. Pray, pray. Haleka prosekete. Forget about your failures and pray. Forget about your failures and pray. Say, Lord, I will start again. I used to set goals before, but now I'm backslidden. I used to watch videos every day. I used to listen to DVDs, but now I'm backslidden. But tonight, tonight, a baptism, fresh grace. I won't give up. I won't give up. Come on now. Arise. Let your dreams arise. Refuse to give up. God is faithful. Refuse to give up. Go back again. Do it again. Shake it You are laboring in the spirit. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Last prayer point for this night. Listen. Hear me. The last prayer point. You are going to pray. We just have about two more minutes left. You are going to pray. And send dangerous prophecies. Are you hearing what I am saying? You're going to prophesy and tell yourself that top is for me. No devil will stop me. That top is a position God has prophesied over my life from his word. Lift your voice and pray. I'm meant for the top. Meant for the top. Meant for the top. In business, the top. In leadership, the top. In music, the top. Prophesy to yourself. An extraordinary academian. An extraordinary worshiper. Extraordinary musician. Extraordinary media giant. Extraordinary business mogul. Extraordinary apostle. Extraordinary prophet. Extraordinary evangelist. Pray. Nigeria, open up. Open up. My gift is bringing me. Abuja, open up. Lagos, open up. Port Harcourt, open up.
Chicago, open up. Jaws, open up. London, open up. Israel, open up. China, open up. My gift is making room. Prophesy, my gift is making room. Labor market, open up. Nigerian labor market, open up. Your gift, your gift, gospel music industry, open up. Generals are coming. Generals are coming. Doors of ministry, open up. Miracle workers are coming. Fiery apostles are coming. Fiery prophets are coming. Nigeria, open up. Ladies of excellence are coming. Women of virtues are coming. The borders are coming. Nigeria, open up. Our ladies are coming. They are coming with the spirit of Elijah. They are coming. Entrepreneurs, business giants, business giants, billionaire philanthropists, healing ministers, miracle workers, reformers. Pray. Pray. I'm coming. I'm on my way. Nothing will stop me. Pain will not stop me. Persecution will not stop me. Criticism will not stop me. Discouragement will not stop me. Failure will not stop me. I'm on my way. There is a prophecy. There is a prophecy. I wore a good warfare. One more minute, prophesy. My gift is making room. It's making room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Koinonia, hear me. Your gift is making room for you. Brothers and sisters, when God speaks to you, take your eyes away from the reasons why it will not come to pass and keep your eyes there. Let God apologize to you for failing you, but on your own part, remain there. Are we together? He considered not his own body. When he was 100 years old, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb, 20. Number two, he staggered not. Staggered not. This is what the Bible calls, Apostle James calls it a double-minded person. Do you know what a double-minded person is? Inventing options as a result of fear. Inventing options. Lord, this is it. I am trusting you. This is what you are going to do. Lord, I'm trusting you. I'm taking this direction. And all of a sudden, because of fear, all of a sudden you start fabricating plan B, plan C, plan D. Some of these things we do and we think they are proofs of wisdom. No, sir. If God tells you, I will make you a nation, brothers and sisters, even if you are inside a hut, believe him. No plan B. Men of faith are those who burn the bridges behind them. Like Esther, if I perish, I perish. This is how I walk with God. There's no possibility of plan B. If God tells me, son, this is how we are going, I say, Lord, let's go. If there is fire there, I remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I walk through that fire. That's what it takes to be a man of faith. Organizing a miracle service like this is suicidal. You must be a man of faith. You don't know the cases and the problems and the challenges that people have. What then gives you the audacity to call nations together and assure them that they will experience the power of God? It takes faith. Are we together? You start a business, it takes faith. Who gave you a guarantee that they will like your products or your services? And you have the audacity to commit funds, commit structures, commit leadership, and then open up and say, okay, the whole world come and be blessed. He staggered not. Some of you are already staggering. 
Lord, I trust you, but uh, staggered not. But was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Giving glory. Another word is giving praise. Giving praise. Full of praise. 21, the last verse. This was the third thing that he did and this is the third thing that fear does remember the first thing fear does is that you begin to consider brings logic into your spiritual process are we together number two is that it causes you to stagger and then number three it begins to dwindle your persuasion the bible says i'm being fully persuaded conviction but i know whom i have believed and i am Persuaded. It was Paul who said, I am persuaded that neither life nor death nor this and that and that. He am being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was also able. Now hold on. Very powerful scripture. That what he promised, he was also what? That means you the, when Satan begins to bring fear, the first thing that suffers is your revelation of God's ability. Ability ability he uses your senses to attack god's ability listen listen to me um let me use someone come sam now watch this sam if i say i'm going to give you let's say hundred thousand naira, the first thing you do is to look at me in your mind and in whatever parameter and you believe if i say i'm going to give you one million you will look if i say i'm going to give you 10 million if i say i'm going to give you 100 million that's how that conviction will start dwindling then if i say sam by next week you're going to carry a private jet the, your mind will just there will be no there's no provision in your mind to believe it. you are not even going to receive it are we together you will respectfully laugh but the truth is that you don't even believe him now you may not know but that you're laughing it looks like an it's like the kiss of judas a kiss is a good thing until somebody uses it as a strategy to chain you. Judas kissed Jesus and said, this is the guy. So you can laugh. The Bible says, Mary had dwelt good like medicine. But that laugh is not a laugh of faith. That laugh is a laugh of doubt because you think I wouldn't do it. Like Sarah's laughter. Are we together now? And so when God says, Sam, I'm going to change your life. Fear comes. What does fear do? He says, look, if God said he was going to give you a new shoe, it makes sense. God can raise somebody in Koinonia. But God says he's giving you a house by December. Is, is, God, is God stupid? That's fear talking to you. And you sit and say, I believe a shoe, but I don't believe a house. Then you limit God like they did in the wilderness. And only a shoe comes to you. And comes to validate the limitation you placed on God. But that does not mean he could not give you a house. That does not mean he could not build a great destiny for you. Brothers and sisters, tonight as we trust God, we're going to do a very quick walk here. I want you to take away fear from your life. Fear of finances. Now that, you know, the whole recession is on, people fear. Do you know one of the major reasons why people are poor? I'm telling you this. It's not because they are lazy. It's because of the fear of it. They think about lack so much, they expect it, it comes to them. All wealthy people are courageous people. They believe. When God says, I'm going to bless you, you just sit and think and say, which of my uncles? Uncle James, poor. Uh, Uncle Silvanus, poor. The other, my father's younger brother, poor. Oh God, how are you going to now help me? You see that? My elder brother that was working in January, they now sacked him. God, I will... 100,000 come and God looks at you and says with all you have been learning in Koinonia this is how much you believe me but there are people who say Lord whether I believe you or not there's no option so now I'm, I'm, I trust you do anything you can do and all of a, a sudden strangers will come and feed your flock and say I don't know you sister but while Koinonia was going on you even you just look at and say no 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 don't be afraid God just told me please come and see me in my office tomorrow and he said, what is this? He said, God gave me an instruction. Gone are the days where people get testimonies and say, God told somebody to do this. You know, there used to be times like that. 
where God is. Now you don't hear those things because we don't believe it. We have brought carnality to our lives. You don't ever believe God directs men. We believe Satan sends men, but we don't believe God directs men. I want you to live in that reality where you believe. Reject fear. My sister, my brother, hear me. Reject fear. Satan prevails over your life with fear. Brothers and sisters, especially our gentlemen, fear of establishment. When will I get more? How much is one bag of dangote cement? And you start calculating, you are considering. That's fear. Does, you are not planning. That one is not planning. Planning is correct. You are putting a plan to dance around it and rejoice. But fear, now say, use your brain. How much is one, one plot of land? You see that? You now put it, how much is two plots? How much is a good car? How much is dowry? How much is, is uh, uh, furniture? When you calculate everything, you say, according to my modest calculation, it's nine million, and you laugh. You just throw it away and say, look, let me just thank God. You think that was an act of faith. A man of faith says, Lord, I do not know how the wind will come. Kabbalah kataya. I don't know how the rain will come, but I learned from scripture that you received for me power. Listen, let me teach you. There is a way you can frustrate Satan. You stagger not. Lord, I don't know how it will happen, but I know. Satan wants to bring something, another scripture just wells up. Ah. But is it not God that you trusted yesterday that you fell? Remember not the former things. That's why you must be full of the word to walk in faith. That every time Satan comes, it is written, shoots out of you like an arrow. It is written. It is written. It is written. Ah, when you failed yesterday, where was God? And then he says, for your shame, I will give you double. Good reply for a spirit. Is it not you that everybody saw you and left you? Just looked at you and said you are a nobody. And the Bible says, where men have deserted you so that no man passes through you, I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. With the limitation, how are you going to go abroad? Are you not seeing if you ever, if you go around the embassy, they will so kick you out of that place. And you sit down and remember Joseph that he was in the prison. And the Bible says, and the king, not the king's aid, the king himself sent for him. Kings can send for mean men and transform their lives. Hmm. When you are not full of the word, when pressure pushes at you, all that will come out is culture. All that will come out is all of these things. Brothers and sisters, God is going to do a quick walk tonight. It's our last miracle service, but I want you, please and please, I want you to join me, believe this God. He is believable. He is reliable. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God can change the stories of people. Please, do not let anyone mock you. Oh, we are in a strange season where God is changing people's lives overnight. Overnight. This overnight dimension, I know in my spirit that people are entering it. Overnight. When you see someone who was already on his way to being successful, it's not strange. But somebody overnight... Is Saul also one of the prophets? What happened to him overnight? Saul, I thought you were looking for your father's donkey. And Saul says, I encountered Samuel. And an anointing came upon me. And all of a sudden, things started happening. Hallelujah. God did something in my life today that almost brought tears out of my eyes. I just sat down and I, I almost fought tears and fought tears. And I said, God... You are dependable. You are truly dependable. Brothers and sisters, I want to bring you to a realm where after you leave this, you will never say one thing in church and say another. You don't have to fight with people. When people come with their sarcasm, just keep quiet. A settled reality. If I die trusting him, I die. But God is able. Somebody say God is able. Say it again. God is able. All our problems as human beings can be classified into seven categories and only seven categories. I won't go there because of time. But the, the challenges we are facing are not new. It's from health, am I right? To money, to breakthrough, to deliverance, to all of these things. Which one of them does not have a representation in the word of God? Is it your rent? 
is it the time of famine are we together is it the breakthrough is it the limitations brothers and sisters my god is able my god is able i don't know about your own god but my god is able i believe him and i'm not going to give room for the devil listen listen this scientific christianity we must we must rise beyond that realm of science and trust god tell me how the clouds stay without a pillar nobody has ever renovated the cloud to readjust it stays by itself mm. god spoke to job tell me how you can give the rivers borders and say thus far have you come no further shall you go this is the god we serve if you doubt if god can look men look at my life look at my life brothers and sisters i came tonight to challenge you to believe this god you can sit down and continue arguing and laughing at those who are engaging their faith and turn and see that you are 40 years 45 and there is no result whatsoever because it never happens by magic blessed is she that believes both in the open and in the secret blessed is she that believes for unto her alone there shall be a performance this christianity that you trust god in the open and then in the secret you laugh you are sarcastic no no i believe him i believe him he has earned my trust i believe him i believe him i believe him tonight to heal the sick i believe him tonight to cast out devils I believe him brothers and sisters i know that you may have gone through several things some of us here there are dreams that have died you have buried it but i want you to rise up again and to tell yourself i will make it take it down for me let's sing one song before we disgrace the devil in this place what's that song um you don't have to worry you know the song and don't you be afraid joy comes in the morning troubles may not last away listen to the song carefully there's a friend in jesus who will wipe your tears away and if your heart is broken Shabalakataya Just lift your hands hey, I know that I can make it I know that I can stand I know that I can stand No matter what no matter what may come my way. way My life is in my your hands life. With Jesus I can make it. With Jesus I With can Jesus make it. With Jesus I can make it. With Him I know I can stand. With Him I know I can stand. No matter where I come my way, my life is in Your hands. Hallelujah. Listen, there is no giving up in this kingdom. Uh -uh. There is no. Did you hear what I said? there is no giving up in this kingdom i want you to go back to the archives of the things you have left and say lord i'm taking it back that dream that business i started it by january by march i was crying but at your word i'm going back again i'm going back you are faithful let them laugh at you you know hold on please i was studying um i think it was last week or so i was just studying a video on the great inventors the top was it 10 or 20 inventors in our world you know right from the time recorded history and i was reading through their lives one by one i only got to number five or six and i stopped and i told myself i said joshua selman don't you ever complain again i said my god why didn't they teach us the obstacles that these men had to cross why do we approach our lives as though something unusual happened go and read about their lives the history makers and see how they smash records when people told them you will not make it they said my life's goal is to prove to you and many of them were christians 
brothers and sisters the bible says that unto principalities and powers that it will be shown the manifold wisdom the manifold wisdom you don't look like it but that's why it's called his grace you don't look like it until his hand comes upon you and they say why you and you say go and ask him oh go and ask him go and ask him i'm motivating somebody and i'm speaking to you let me tell you something brothers and sisters god is dependable kill fear in your life when we start to pray i'd like you to pray with all your heart and as you pray i'd like you to trust god you may feel the pain of the sickness but as you pray you want it and say just a few minutes i will only be patient with you for a few more minutes and you are living my body and living forever you may not be sick in your body but you have myriads of issues that only god can step in financial issues health issues i like you to bring it before the god of your salvation and say god i know you are able oh. i don't know how you will do it witchcraft in your family demonic things and say lord it will end i know it i know it no job no destiny no joy he said I'm, I'm before you i'm not before a herbalist i know my god is able open your mouth in one minute personally talk to him if you have to talk to him in your language go ahead those outside pray lord i believe you once again hallelujah i believe you once again the god of my salvation the god of jeshuron i believe you again for my family i believe you again for my academics i believe you again for my marriage i believe you again for my children i believe you for my finances it is still my year of triumph it is still my year of triumph it is still my year of triumph you are dependable you are reliable talk to him tonight is a night where my dreams are coming alive again that anointing that ministry that business in the name of jesus in spite of the mockery in spite of the shame in spite of the mistakes in spite of the setbacks in spite of the failure i arise like a giant rejoice not over me my enemies though i fall yet will i rise yet will i rise my god is still alive i know his name jesus the son of the living god pray i came to him the one who can change my life change my ministry You are here, working miracles, I worship you, I worship you, you are here, wiping every tear, I worship you, I worship you. Way make miracle walk, promise me light in the darkness. That is who you are. Way make way miracle walk, promise me light in the darkness. My God. That is who you are. Listen, listen to me don't ask how it will happen when i stepped in i heard i heard i think it was mary i have followed the issue of her dad 
when some of us here are related to police people and all of that i'm just using her story for an illustration when she told me about the miracle that happened i said god i fear you because what was happening they were supposed to shoot and kill her dad that's the punishment for the supposed offense but when he steps in this is my god god is not a man no god is not your neighbor god is not a landlord god is not a president he's not a governor god is not an ambassador god all by himself when he steps in all of a sudden he begins to shift things listen brothers and sisters hear me i want you to believe god to shift things this is this is my assignment believe him to push things in your life in one minute i like you to mention every challenge you came here with and say lord i believe you you will change it go ahead go ahead and pray lord i believe you you will change my financial situation lord i believe you you can send help us my way men are still on earth lord i believe you you can lift me lord i believe you you can give my life speed if you came here for this service tonight pray pray i believe you Hello, him out of night. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him out of night. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him out of night. Thy kingdom come. I will be done. Hello, him out of night. 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 Hello, him out hallelujah tonight is the last miracle service for the year please i don't want you to miss out on anything there is a very very strong anointing to bring performance performance listen 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 to me please now you see because of the nature of the miracle service some of you want I may not be able to call everybody one by one to speak to you the purpose of calling is just to give the holy spirit room to address as he brings but let me tell you this i've told you again and again calling people and talking and all of that is you can see how, how much time sometimes can be spent talking to one person the most important thing is that your faith is released to say lord turn my life around listen don't pray a cheap prayer tonight lord turn everything around 180 degrees turn it around turn it around turn it around let my life change it is within your power to make it happen hallelujah hallelujah now listen we're going to start tonight praying for the sick first
there is a very strong healing anointing in this place and we're going to pray for the sick brothers and sisters i want you to believe god that any demonic thing that has latched onto you it must leave you sickness is not the will of god not near it are we together sickness is not the will of god and shortly i'm going to be asking sick people to come out in all of the overflows i want us to focus on sick people and pray all the other things we can do a quick work but it takes a lot of time to minister to the sick and we're going to do this very fast but i want you to maintain an attitude of prayer but before then i want you to lift your hands please i want to pray lift your hands i want to pray tonight is a night of breakthrough we are coming there but i have to pray i have to pray for breakthrough hallelujah just keep your hands don't say anything don't do anything hallelujah keep your hands please let's just walk with the spirit of god breakthrough the lord is bringing breakthrough now when when you hear me say this it's not just about those who fall under the anointing and shout the falling under the anointing is just an evidence it, it doesn't it has totally nothing about it's for you to receive it doesn't mean that you see someone fall under the anointing and say wow this is the one god is touching no i'm teaching you how to receive you receive by faith it has nothing to do with falling or not falling are we together now you receive by faith what is breakthrough the grace that smashes the limitations that stands before you so that you move forward there is a grace that does that i want to pray for you now jesus i see fire that's what i'm seeing this is this is I'm, i don't know what kind of flame what color this is now but i'm seeing that grace inside and outside right now i stretch my hands it's coming on people right now receive it now don't worry i stretch it just keep your hands lifted right now it's coming on people overflow one two three right up those online is a grace don't say anything just lift your hands that grace is coming on people i'm telling you i'm seeing doors these are like doors I, i've seen this many times but these are like chains chains doors opening i'm stretching my hands to you right now let's just allow god to do what he's doing shabakata the breakthrough grace the breaker anointing changing people's lives changing people's lives changing people's lives right now in the name of jesus receive it all over this building all over the overflows all over the overflows enough is enough enough is enough of those challenges thank you jesus thank you jesus keep your hands lifted don't worry we're going to do a, a quick walk god is bringing something he's still bringing breakthrough and the lord is telling me to tell those people that this grace is coming upon i'm hearing in my spirit december 2nd this is from now till that time december 2nd a strange walk strange walk of the spirit strange walk the breakthrough grace the breakthrough grace the breakthrough grace you don't have to bring them out we're going to ask the sick to come just hold them breakthrough grace i stretch my hands breakthrough grace there are families that must enter this anointing now enough is enough said the spirit of god there are families that must enter this anointing i provoke that grace let it cross borders in the spirit and go to families families shabatakata families lord bring them into this grace families the overflow three i'm seeing god touch a lot of people there this breakthrough anointing overflow three overflow three there is a strange move of the spirit happening there god is touching people this breakthrough anointing many of us need breakthrough we don't even know we need it impossibilities turning impossibilities turning breakthrough breakthrough let's just allow that grace land and we'll pray for the sick breakthrough you will be surprised to see the testimonies that will rise from it 
breakthrough i stretch my hands again breakthrough that grace that grace that grace shabata skapara shubres kelea breakthrough that breakthrough grace I'm seeing a few people, I'm seeing fire rising from their feet. This is still breakthrough. This is still breakthrough. F fire rising like from a man's legs upward. Fire. At least 17 people I'm seeing scattered across. In the name of Jesus, let it rise. Lord, their destinies are at the mercy of these encounters. Let's just participate and allow the Lord to do what he's doing. Parakota Segedekata Sholeasa Mabreketia is a river that fire burning every chaff is a year of triumph. It must happen to you. It must happen to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we are going to pray for the sick. I'm praying for the sick fast because the Lord is going to move in a very, very prophetic way in this place tonight. And I want us to pray for the sick very fast. Now watch this. Please, if you are sick in your body, you came here for a miracle. Overflow. And let's see. Those in overflow, one. Those under the anointing, just let them be. Those in overflow, one. You are going to come out here. Um, okay. Inside and part of overflow too the ones at the roadside maybe half of it you can join them and come here if you are trusting god for a terminal disease now a terminal disease is something that is somewhat a death sentence please whether you are in overflow one two or three i want to lay hands on you by myself a terminal disease a termin that means something that is a death sentence you know maybe uh, hiv aids or a cancer or something like that and please don't just come let's not crowd this place there are ministers that are going to be ministering overflow one come um out at your projector stand inside here come out part of overflow two join them and then the remaining go to the front of your projector outside overflow three i want all of you to come up and we're going to pray very very fast it's going to be a very quick walk god bless you quickly please come now you're coming out come and line up here quickly quickly overflow one please come out quickly while they are doing that i like us to begin to pray and say father let every sickness represented here bow to the name of the lord jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray let every sickness bow to the name of the lord your people have come to you the healer as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus we believe Jesus listen I want you to believe God for miracles so that you can be perfectly whole to serve the Lord you must reject sickness from your life hallelujah praise the lord please pass away jimmy um let's see you go to overflow three you and promise overflow three i think there should be many more people if there are many more people there then we may add some other people um a jimmy and promise will go to overflow three um pastor alpha you are at overflow two um Benga and Kenny, you'll be at overflow one outside. Mike, you join um, whoever is you know, going to overflow two. I think that that would be okay. Those online, release your faith. Go ahead, guys. 
in the name of Jesus father we decree and declare let the corporate grace of the spirit flow in this place let there be signs and wonders through your holy son let there be miracles in the name of Jesus let there be signs let there be wonders in Jesus name I pray now please listen I don't want you to be distracted remain in that prayer mode as we pray for you I want you to check yourself I want you to do what you couldn't do even as you return to your seat and whilst they are praying God bless you guys go ahead no go fine praise the Lord and as soon as we pray then we're going there will be massive deliverance and prophecy here I want us to be as fast as possible the worship team will set the atmosphere for us please everyone I want you to pray you may be seated where you are you are trusting God for the healing of a loved one let's trust the healing anointing and let's let's tap into what God is doing right now father we give you all the praise let there be miracles in the name of Jesus Christ Father, we thank you. Let there be miracles.
much mercy. Much more than I deserve. Can we say the word you speak? Turn things around. Turn things around. Your arms stretched out. Has lifted me, Lord. You took them away. The chains and cords that held me back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Justina. Who is Justina? Justina. Justina. Time is gone. Justina. I'm hearing a name, Justina. We're going to enter a very strong session um, of deliverance and prophecy. We have to be very fast. I'm trying to conserve time. I'm hearing the name Justina. Justina. What's your name? Justina. You have this song that they just raised now. This song now, my beautifier, that's a song for you. That's what God is doing in your life. Stand up. You know how you make a woman up, maybe when there's wedding or there's a program. I'm looking at plenty ladies gathering around you and they're doing all these things for your face. Hmm? This is, this is, are you married? God is opening the door of marriage for you. Hmm? In the name of Jesus Christ. Justina, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Justina, Mama. Pray for you. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I'm seeing something like oil being put on you. I stretch my hands towards you, and I decree and declare: Let that anointing come upon your life, change your story forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Madam, what's your name? Justina. Justina. Do you know why I'm saying that? I'm looking in a vision and I'm seeing this woman. I'm seeing you holding a man. You are walking and later on I see you walking alone. Where's your husband? He's dead, son. He's dead. He's what? He's dead. Oh, he's dead, you mean? Um... I want to pray for you. Don't be afraid. Because I'm seeing something that looks like the face of your husband calling you to come. That's not your husband. That's a demon spirit. I have to pray. The living and the dead don't have anything in common. Madam, I want to pray for you. Are we together now? Mm. So I'll lay my hands in the name of Jesus. I avert death from your life. In the name of Jesus. Everything bringing your husband's face to call you is not love. He's dead, he's gone. In the name of Jesus, I separate you. Mama, the Lord is going to, I, I've, I've known this madam and the case in their family, but there is a yoke of suffering. This is the first time God is showing me this. Wahala. And God is going to take it away. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know about her daughter's issue. I've been following up with the family. But I look at this woman and the Lord said there is a cause of hardship nothing that anybody does really really works it must turn later on and there are many people like that well soon i'm coming to you that thing must leave you i told you about this hardship hardship is one of the major reasons people don't smile hardship is more than poverty praise the lord my mind the name of jesus i pray for you may the lord himself locate you in jesus name i pray amen your name is Justina. My mother and my younger sister. Where is she? Where is she? 
Okay, your mother and your younger sister. In the name of Jesus. The prayer I want to pray for you now. I can't remember which miracle service, but please just help Mama. She's under the anointing. Get a chair or something. Someone donate your chair. Let her sit down and calm down. God is doing something in her family. Just keep her somewhere, please. I've prayed it before, but the Lord is saying I should tell you again that your family is entering a season of reward. It's entering a season of reward. It's entering a season of reward. The Lord himself will make it happen. I'm hearing affinity, 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 affinity. Please make sure it's your name. What's your name? The affinity I'm talking about is here somewhere. Um, you're younger. I'll pray for you. Affinity. This person is outside. Affinity. The Lord is telling me there's somebody outside. Affinity. If I could appear here as God, what I would tell you based on what I've seen is congratulations. God is going to do something in your life that will surprise you. How many prayer requests did you write? Six. Six. Go outside. Read number four very well. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you a finicky? Father, in the name of Jesus, visit this family. In the mighty name of Jesus. This lady, this one, my sister, you, looking at me, come. Please, let's, let's save time. I don't want us to stay here too long. Is this your first time here? You've been coming here. I have to pray for you. Where are you from? Edo State. I want to pray for you. Kai, what I'm seeing is not good. Hmm? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing... You know the horn of a calf. That's what I'm seeing on you. And we have to pray. I'm not saying you're a demon. You get what I'm saying? This is your miracle service is where God sets us free. Hold my hands. Hold it. Hold it with both of your hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, please set this lady free. There are many things wrong, but the Lord is bringing order. In the name of Jesus Christ, I hold your hands now and I judge the horns of wickedness. The horns of wickedness if i don't pray for you your life is going to be full of suffering and strange disappointment from men in the name of jesus i command by the anointing of the holy ghost right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let there be deliverance for you now i lay my hands on your head and i decree and declare that everything you are carrying that is not of the christ i command it to leave you now and I pray that every legal access upon which the devil is attempting to destroy your life, I plead the blood on your behalf right now. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. Agnes, 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 Agnes. There's someone with that name? Agnes. 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 Agnes I wish I had time God. Agnes You are Agnes You are what Who is Agnes here Who is Agnes Your mother gave you Agnes Who is that Your name is Agnes Your name is Agnes I'll pray for you but I'm seeing Agnes and the Lord your Agnes, your mother. Are they sisters? Yeah, they are Who is this? It's their wife, but they are all sisters. Three of them are sisters. Who is this? She's their brother's wife. She, I'm looking at this, and the Lord is saying, Let's avert. I'm looking at this picture, it's empty, but I'm saying, Rest in peace. Huh? Lord Jesus, by your mercy, she lit. She's alive. I'm not a prophet of doom. I hope you understand. When I see this, is the Lord trying to avert something. I avert tears from your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you that the Lord will help you. In Jesus' name. There is an impartation that God is giving you. God is bringing you into a dimension of the anointing. 
is is a strange level of grace that you are going to enter into and the lord is saying i should tell you that by this grace is going to lift you to a dimension that you have never seen it will make you a light i'm seeing a touch light shining and the lord is saying this is your destiny to come with great illumination in the name of jesus your agnes two of you as i lay my hands on you whatever the issue is the lord is stepping in right now in the name of jesus christ 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 <sighs> jesus how time flies you see these are some of the things that before you know it just talking to people and it's already 10 and there is a lot to do right now because we're going to we're going to pray there are people who are going to go through very massive deliverance my sister this is the holding photos come come yes come now my dear guy uh, i have to pray for you what i'm seeing who is this one again agnes madam your agnes i have to pray for you uh, uh, where are you coming from stretch your hands and pray that this woman will not die I kept looking at her because I'm seeing burial ceremony happening and I'm seeing her same face inside the coffin. What is this thing with this spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ? Please pray. You may not know how it doesn't matter. In the name of Jesus, we avert death. Hallelujah. Father, I lay my hands on this madam and in the name of Jesus we decree and declare that your grace will preserve her Amen. by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus. My dear, I want to pray for you. Are you married? Look at me. Look at me. I want to pray for you. There is serious bad luck in your life. You know what they say? Bad luck. Bad luck that at least if some things are happening and other things are not happening but when there is nothing at all happening in your life it's not good in the name of jesus i lay my hands may the god of all grace may the god of mercy step in right now in the name of jesus christ by the power of god's grace come darling come this small girl i keep seeing this girl again and again god is going to use this girl in a very mighty way in a very mighty way believe me this forget that you are seeing a little girl god is going to use her in ways that will surprise people father use this lady beyond imagination in the name of jesus let her experience your grace and your power in the name of jesus your grace and your power in the name of jesus there was a man and a woman that were sitting in front here just where i'm standing like an elderly man one one gentleman and a lady where are they please look for them are you together come how are you sir can i pray for you your, your first time here this is your first time from where from abuja i want to pray for you god is going to change your story i saw these things when i came up it's just that now the lord said minister to them i don't know you all, never seen you but i want to pray for you let me tell you sir except the lord builds a house they labor in vain hmm? except the lord builds a house it doesn't mean i'm, I'm what do you do i'm seeing contracts it will be like it's coming but then it will disappear is that true yes one of the major things that brought you here because you are very skilled and you are very good there was you are supposed to have been a multi-millionaire since last year there is a big contract that god would have given you but for some reason the thing just went even you is still surprising you how that thing did not work is that true you you thought you offended the person you worked with because i noticed it's like you are communicating then communication broke there's no communication. yes is that true i want to pray for you you believe god can change stories you heard what i said here what's your relationship Oh, you are the wife wife god is about to visit your family in say amen in remarkable ways you are an architect you believe what i'm telling you 
look let me tell you something you see brothers and sisters we are going to pray but this thing eh, is not by power and by might one two is not by hustling are we together it's not by just god uses men but blessings don't come from men they come from god through men to you i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ you have children how many is that all don't be embarrassed i usually will not you saw that i kept quiet abby huh because i'm hearing the cry of a baby and i'm seeing a hospital and i'm seeing it's a baby girl this is what i'm seeing you see i'm not <laughs> i hope i'm not messing two of you up you we have wonderful couples that came in peace for the issue of finances but then please don't be surprised whatever happens god is in control it's the will of god eh? um two children is not what because what i'm seeing you will be surprised i don't want to say this thing in public you said you have two children okay we'll see and then we'll talk about that eh? so that we don't uh... but in the name of jesus hold my hands the lord is going to honor you father lift this man up in the name of jesus i release an anointing enter a strange level of favor you came from abuja in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ madam as i pray for you the lord is going to open doors of favor beyond your imagination step into that dimension in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ lift your hands the guys outside are still there with them okay please um we have a few minutes and i want to pray seriously i want to god is going to be visiting people in very strange ways right now are we together please i like your heart to be connected there are everything that is sitting on anyone's destiny i'm going to pray and as i begin to pray i want you to believe god for a miracle a miracle come the lord keeps speaking to me about this lady's family that this family he will not rest until this family enters her rest that's what the lord is telling me praise the lord lift your hands sharp record to listen when we pray like this it's not just some jamboree to see people manifest now that's not the idea but that there are spirits there are spirits lady look at me shift please osha shift let me talk to that lady just tap her let her see me and noise her hold on just where you are lift your hands i'm seeing something crying and jumping out of you I stretch my hands let it leave you now and leave you forever in the name of jesus brothers and sisters let me tell you spirits are real they take advantage 90 percent of people's challenges are caused by the presence of spirits and when we pray like this much more than the manifestation it is god visiting you to separate you from the obstacles that's really it you may come with 10 prayer requests caused by one spirit and just that spirit leaving you you go back and you see testimonies are we together lift your hands i want to pray jesus at the count of three please i want you to shout jesus please just if you can just clear the aisles for me it's going to be very 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 serious right now few minutes please let's be patient this is the last miracle service and let god do what you will do now at the count of three i want you all to shout the name jesus we do this every time not as a ritual it is a name that is above all names that every power and every force that dares to sit upon anyone's life manipulating the outcomes of your physical results in the name of jesus as you shout jesus inside outside may that fire begin to locate men are you ready now at the count of three one two three i command judgment on every strange spirit in the name of jesus please bring them out in the name of jesus 
I decree and I declare that every force sitting on anyone's destiny is time for you to let them go by the power that is in the name of Jesus inside and outside I command judgment on the wicked lift your hands one more time we're going to shout Jesus lift your hands at the count of three the spirits of ancestry sitting on families that you will not rise let them go now one two three go 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 i open the door and i command you to leave them now leave their destinies now lift your hands i want to pray the bible says he has redeemed us from every tribe and every tongue and every nation but there are spirits that are rejecting it listen i'm seeing people in dreams having all kinds of intercourse with strange spirits and you wake up in the morning with bad luck you go to bed and a spirit human or animal entities i'm seeing it at the count of three something will happen to you that will set you free one two three shout jesus let them go release their destinies now strangers of the night strangers of the night i command you let them go lift your hands i'm still praying we're still praying i don't know why god is showing me dreams dreams destiny is manipulated through dreams manipulated through dreams you are going to shout that name again fire will come on you and that will be the end of it everyone here whose dream has been hijacked and the devil is bringing wars to your life at the count of three be free now one two three be free now be free now be free now your hands i want to destroy patterns what happened to you happened to your brother what happened to your mother happened to your father they raped your mother they are now raping you they destroyed your father they are now destroying you no way in christ the bible says we have been separated let me tell you hold on many of you the power of god will come upon you from this prayer there are strange patterns abnormal coincidences that bring war to people's lives lift your hands when it's time to shout shout it with all your heart my god and my king i ask that you move like a mighty man and destroy patterns patterns at the count of three one two three be destroyed patterns patterns i curse you in the name of jesus hallelujah please i like you to be sensitive there is a strong anointing god is doing a quick work very few minutes i don't know why god does it but he gives me that direction that as i begin to move around many things happen at once deliverance impartation several things just happen listen whatever your challenge is i want you to just it's not about me there are angelic just leave them that in the name of jesus as i walk around very fast god is going to step in and the power of god if there is anything unresolved as i pass your row i want you to believe the god of heaven is stepping stepping over your life right now stepping over your life in the name of jesus 
that anything that is yet to be settled i stretch my hands now right now let the anointing of the holy ghost begin to settle people in the name of jesus i command it i command it everything everything that is not of god of this role everything i cost you i cost you now in the name of jesus i decree and i declare by the anointing of the holy ghost be free now be free in the name of jesus lift your hands i decree i decree i'm seeing chains chains on this road lose them now lose them now lose them now lose them now by the anointing of the holy spirit lose them now be sensitive as the anointing comes to you is bringing you out now in the name of jesus 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 hallelujah but listen those of you outside i want you to be sensitive our time is gone but we're going to be very fast as i pass your row many of you will see that the anointing of the spirit will come on you the lord is bringing breakthrough in the name of jesus right now let there be breakthrough from the front row right down as i walk through in the name of jesus i stretch my hands miracles breakthroughs right now by the anointing of the spirit receive it right now receive it i open closed doors god is opening someone's doors here a prayer i command doors be open doors be open just believe by faith doors be open doors be open as i come close to you the anointing of the holy ghost the anointing of the holy ghost is bringing that miracle right now let it be over let it be over i stretch my hands let it be over in the name of jesus let it be over in the name of jesus this last miracle service my sister your tears are over that's what the lord is saying your tears are over the mighty god is moving on your behalf please lift your hands i command it receive right now receive right now an anointing is coming on people receive right now believe by faith receive right now change their stories change their stories change their left and right left and right the holy ghost is touching people over over captivity over as i come to your road believe by faith i stretch my hands somebody in this road your destiny has been tied i lose you now i lose you now i lose you now the anointing of the spirit is coming on you wherever you are i lose you now receive it right now in the name of jesus bad luck bad luck leave him now over over forever over forever over the lord is asking me to stretch my hands on this road i stretch my hands receive that grace right now receive that grace receive that grace by the anointing of the spirit i cast this devil out of him now in the name of jesus there's somebody here the lord is saying open the door of marriage i open it i don't know who that is receive the anointing now receive the anointing now now please those of you in this will take note i'm seeing an anointing there is a great man of god that god is raising here out of this row this row here an anointing is coming on someone a strange grace please help them in the name of jesus you will never never be the same never be the same god is solving people's problems it has taken 10 years but i'm solving it the lord is saying it has taken 10 years but i'm solving your problem lady look at me the lord is wiping your tears that's what the lord is saying is over 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 by the spirit over by the spirit for your family over over by the spirit in the name of jesus please i want you to receive by faith believe someone is being healed here god is taking away a family sickness 
a pattern let it go now this row i'm standing on please believe release your faith in the name of jesus i'm standing here and i'm hearing a new song a new song god is giving some presents here a new song receive it right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus please believe my dear look at me lift your hands this lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands here i'm seeing the number 11 lord everyone that must enter their destiny here i separate you from witchcraft now 11 people right now sukatos kaparukatos there's someone in the media stand around the media there i'm seeing like lights just entered you and you are rising to a new dimension i saw someone at the media stand i've seen two people at the, the minister's row the minister's row the lord is touching them two people a strange anointing for speed i'm stretching my hands here right now and in the name of jesus i decree and declare i decree and declare step into that dimension of your destiny hallelujah please everyone very quickly our time is up i want you to lift your prayer request pass it to the last person quickly quickly please our time is up let's let's just be please be patient with me we'll be done in a jiffy but we need to do this a very quick walk it doesn't matter where i stand i don't have to stand in front just leave please ushers very quickly coordinate yourselves and collect them just lift it pass it to the last person and that last person lift it up please lift it up so that the ushers can collect everyone say after me in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit that between now and the end of this year every prophetic word over my life must come to pass lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice don't look at me pray i decree and i declare that between now and december every prophetic word that has been decreed every prophetic word that has been decreed must come to pass every prophetic word that has been decreed where are the ushers they should collect you go ahead and pray go ahead and pray every prophetic word say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus i decree and declare the grace for extraordinary results i receive it right now lift your voice and pray please pray as you are praying you are receiving it in the name of jesus i decree and i declare please pray it Pray with faith. A manifestation. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. Every human agent. That needs to partner with God to take me to the place of destiny i call you into my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray lift your voice and declare in the name of jesus after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus every dormant gift every dormant ability within me 
that should bless me but it's not yet activated i activate it by the anointing lift your voice and pray every dormant gift every ability every dormant gift every ability by the anointing of the holy ghost activated say in the name of jesus the grace for supernatural direction into the will of god for my life i receive that grace now open your mouth and pray the grace for direction into the accurate will of god two more prayer points say in the name of jesus i take authority over the spirit of fear in my life in my family i decree and declare that i no longer fear lift your voice and pray i cause the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death fear of sickness last prayer point in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus every dimension of the anointing that must come upon me for the next season i open up my spirit and i receive it into my life lift your voice and pray the anointing is the difference The anointing is a difference. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, I want you to stretch your hands. You've heard the testimonies that come from this. This is a mystery that God gave. Those online, I want you to stretch your hands from whatever nation of the world you're connecting from. Just whether it's your device, whatever, just believe by faith. Families gather together and we're here praying. We're believing God, the God of all flesh. I want you to stretch your hands here. As I bow my knees to the God of heaven and pray on these requests. In the name of Jesus Christ, all I want you to be saying is, Lord, everything I've dropped here, I pick it up as a testimony. Are we together open your mouth and pray i decree and declare in the name of jesus please make sure all the requests are here make sure that the requests are here please pray I pick it up as testimonies. Are you praying? Lekata prakatosh. Lekata pakoroto soto prekete shakata kata parakatos. Turn it around, O God. Turn it around, O God. 
impossible situations turn it around oh god hallelujah in the name of jesus the son of the living god i decree and declare that the same way i'm stepping on this request that's how you rise above every challenge here no matter how impossible the situation is i agree with you whether it is academic career marital financial whatever it is we release our faith to the god of all flesh and we command that the requests are turned to testimonies someone is saying god can you do it for me before december yes sir yes sir yes sir i decree and declare this is what the lord is ministering to me someone is saying lord i know you will do it but can you do it before december in the name of jesus may my god surprise you there are issues here that ordinarily would take years to be done but in the name of jesus before this year listen you will not enter 2018 with this request in the name of jesus i decree and declare i know you didn't apply for the job and you've been hearing people say they get jobs supernatural i don't know whether you believe it or not but i stand on your request and i release a miracle for you in the name of jesus christ i release a miracle for you please i want you to receive it as i speak over your finances this finance thing you see there is the prophetic dimension of wealth don't ever join any naysayer to believe that when god helps you financially it doesn't advance your life people who talk those things are either ignorant or wicked are we together many people are grounded almost forever purely because of finances this finance thing can punish you and disgrace you again and again i decree and declare every financial shame represented in anyone's life here by prophecy in the name of jesus may your story change like day and night if there is any one of you that wrote any request that has to do with a financial miracle i stand in the name of jesus my god and my king the one who has helped this ministry before december ending in the name of jesus i put laughter in your mouth <laughs> hallelujah mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man if you are here trusting god for the fruit of the womb before this year ends you will confirm that you are already pregnant in the name of jesus listen i'm prophesying for anybody here you have prepared yourself but this job thing has refused to come in the name of jesus whether there is space or not one is created here and you are put there in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare by the spirit of the living god everyone in need of direction clear direction that you are saying lord where do i settle where do i go to do i do business do i get a job in the name of jesus before this weekend wraps up in the dream of a night may my god come to you and visit you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i pray for you the visions you saw by january not one of them has happened now 
and you are wondering i'm seeing someone you have a list of 10 things not prayer requests 10 things that you agreed with god at the beginning of this year not one has happened the lord is saying i should tell you all 10 must happen before the end of this year in the name of jesus christ hallelujah some of us are in situations where you cannot help yourself you need a helper this is a, a helper somebody to just come and lift you i don't know who taught you that god doesn't send men to help men listen let me tell you this is a wicked world where nobody helps you on his own but my brother my sister when god points you and asks men to help you to surprise you the god who has helped me i have seen small of god's grace in this help oh i pray for you ebenezer the one that helps men may my god help you may my god help your ministry may my god help your business in the name of jesus christ listen as you're standing here everything caused struggle in your life you are waving it goodbye tonight in the name of jesus listen i know some of you don't believe it that's why you will not see it but for those who believe it i say it again that anything called struggle in the name of jesus christ the same way when the sun comes out it dries the water that is on a wet cloth i pray that may god arise and wipe every tears anyone here saying oh god don't just visit me alone come through for my family i pray for you there are families the kind of breakthrough they need is only god that can give them i ask that god to give them now in the name of jesus christ all of you here in business i prophesy to you by the anointing of the holy spirit I don't care what you are doing provided it's in righteousness i decree and declare the grace that makes things succeed let it come upon the works of your hands in the name of jesus christ if there is anyone here or any of your loved ones due for promotion and they've been sitting on their promotion because of tribal sentiments i decree and declare like the chronicles was opened by king ahasuerus and mordecai was lifted overnight i declare that may god use men to lift your people to their rightful place every force that has covered anyone's glory here you keep seeing things in the spirit but they never manifest i decree upon you in the name of jesus christ between now and the end of the year may the god of all grace surprise you if there is anything in your life that is missing missing script missing result missing brother missing sister missing whatever it is in the name of jesus just as samuel prophesied and the donkey went back to the house of kish i command everything that has left you to return to you yeah. two more prophetic words and we're done the lord is still asking me to pray over the power to prosper I know that many of you this is not some prosperity jargon just believe this thing trust god settle it and do other important kingdom things i pray for you in the name of jesus by the god who has helped this ministry i pray there is there is an exact anointing that prospers men where in one day god can give you someone's salary of a lifetime i pray for you if you have never seen that dimension of favor I stretch my hands to you. May it happen in your life now. You will wake up in the morning and they will hand you landed properties. By the favor of God.
if there is any family here that as a family with matured grown-up children you are still staying in a rented apartment i decree and declare you may not know how it will happen but by the finger of god i lift you to your own place If there is any human being partnering with darkness to see that you will not see 2018 in the name of Jesus I stand here may the sword of judgment fall on them now <laughs> hallelujah listen to me if there is anything that according to God's calendar should have entered your life what was delayed through whatever reason i'm saying it now in the name of the lord god almighty whom i serve between now and december an avalanche of pending miracles released to you hear me there are people who god will give business ideas overnight and by the end of this year you will be feeding others in the name of jesus Amen. may the god i serve take hardship out of your life may the god that i serve take sorrow out of your life may the god that i serve take up today down tomorrow from your life finally i pray for your spiritual life please be sensitive i decree and i declare if your spiritual life dies everything dies i stretch my hands a dimension of the gift of the spirit that you are trusting god for for a long time and has not come upon your life a dimension of the anointing you have trusted god for but has not come upon your life a dimension of prayer you have trusted god for and has not yet come upon your life a dimension of revelation and illumination you are trusting god for and has not come upon your life a dimension of influence in the spirit visions revelations the prophetic as i stretch my hands let there be a distribution of these graces now receive it right now let there be a distribution of these graces now Hear me this is the last miracle service and i decree and declare to you everything that represents triumph as declared by the mouth of god almighty i command and i declare that the angel that was sent to signify this prophetic word may they confirm that word in your life hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be that's what my song will be hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be Sing it one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what my song will be. That's what my song will be. Our time is gone, but this is our last. This is not the last service, it's only the last miracle service now very quickly please keep standing everyone there are people standing here this is your last miracle service we're not going to have any other one for this year we have about two three more services and we're done completely as a ministry for the year you are right here and the lord is speaking to you and saying son daughter you need to make your ways right with me don't argue it you're overflow one overflow two 
you know overflow three and anywhere connecting with us online wherever you are you're rededicating your life to jesus or you are making that decision for the first time please our time is up but then i cannot but give you an opportunity to truly truly receive jesus wherever you are don't be ashamed leave your seat very quickly i'm counting one to five for the sake of time make your way to the front right now let's honor them as they come one god bless you as you come god bless you as you come there should be many people coming there should be many people i expect so many people coming two clear the way for those coming from overflow two overflow three because of your distance just walk to the front of your projector screen overflow three because of time just walk to the front of your projector screen three someone here is saying lord i'm tired of everything failing tired i'm handing everything to you four jesus is still speaking to people make your way to the front god bless you god bless you one more count and we're done is someone still coming win that war tonight and run to jesus christ the bible says whoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away hallelujah god bless you lift your hands those of you in front and those connecting online wherever you are in the silence of your room your phone your device wherever i want you to just believe with me lift your hands and say this after me say it sincerely don't just recite it as a poem in the name of jesus say after me lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for me tonight I receive you truly and sincerely as my Lord and my Savior I decree and I declare that I have eternal life in my spirit please help the anointing and I declare that the Spirit of God lives in me the grace to live a victorious life is mine right now in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted i stretch my hands the anointing of the spirit smashing away every challenge in everyone's life those of you standing i decree that every legal access the devil has over your life i decree and declare that your sins are forgiven a new chapter is opened over your destiny i release you to a life of victory a life of power and effective christian life in the name of jesus may the grace of god speak for you in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you i want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands all of you there is a gentleman waving his hands please just follow this gentleman and they will um, communicate a few details to you and you'll be back to your seat let's honor god as they go thank you jesus dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.